That's why I ended my shit. I had nothing to do with KOB. That's why I don't want to lie with nobody no more. I don't need none of that shit. Y'all, everybody always feeding the wrong shit. Fuck up. I just met up with KOB. Just saw this nigga. Why the fuck is you all here painting a false motherfucking narrative about Ivy? Why do people, why do people models be, G? Man, this shit be looking foolish. Motherfuckers, boy, you know who fuck with you. All you got to do is just stick around. You know who fuck with you. Period. I'm done. I don't like all that fake weird shit. Real talk. Motherfucker, boy, I'm telling you, I was here with motherfuckers on getting shit. Real talk. Motherfucker, act like I give a fuck about your bag. I know what the code study is. I know what it is. Motherfuckers over here see a pretty face and they, oh, he got a big dick. That's what it gets her from. Be honest. Fuck what you talking about. That's what it is. So me being who I am with no ass, motherfuckers that love me, love me. But that's why I'm not successful on here. Because I ain't one of them big booty bitches. I get this. I ain't gay or something like that. I ain't no nigga. I already know. This app ain't for black women, black straight women. It's not for us. So that's why I said I'm moving on. It had nothing to do with KOP. Now he over there. Ah, ah, ah. Randy, Randy. Fuck all that. I ain't got to fuck with none of y'all. Shit weird. Every these motherfuckers know I'm going through something. Motherfuckers know I'm stressed out. And you going to sit up there and add to it? Fuck all y'all. My mama. I don't have time. I don't have time. For every time I turn around. Haters. 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 Then your friends start motherfucking. Boy, I'd rather. I, I, I would expect my ops to do that shit. Some shit like that. Watch my bag. What? Nigga, I don't even know where you at on the star list. That's how much about your bag I don't give a fuck about. Nigga. I, I just so happened to be on your panel when you got three dragons. You muted motherfuckers so you could thank Rose. And as soon as you unmuted, I was gonna say something and be like, damn, that was lit, or something like that. And then here, Ivy, 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 oh, before you say something. Now y'all know I don't like that shit. Don't tell me to shut up. Basically, that's what you was telling me to do. The lady was telling me to shut up. So I told her, I said, you know what? I, I love you, bro. But I'm gonna make this money, boo. That's all I did. Then we lined up and we was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? I give a fuck about your bag for? Like, don't do that shit, nigga. I worry about my bag. Mine. Her. 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 Not you. Not him. Not that person. Fuck this motherfucker's motive, G. That's what it comes to. Motives. What is your motive? By trying to make motherfuckers think that I care about your bag. Like, I hate that. And motherfuckers saw behind the scenes. So why the fuck is motherfuckers doing this online? Every time. Every time I get into a motherfucker, I can't reach you on a phone. And the only time I can see you is on here. Fake. Period. I don't like that face. Y'all too real. Look at my bag. Real recognize fucking real, G. All play that fake shit. On my mama, I don't. Once I notice a motherfucker fake one too many times, I'm done. Real talk. I hate that shit, bro. Motherfuckers worry about me and how I be go. And when I hit my head button, what's up? How, how did me end in my life turn into me caring about Bigo, KOB's bag? Could somebody explain that to me? How did me say, telling y'all, if I'm on zero, when this PK ends, I'm gone. Then when it was over, I left. What the fuck that got to do with me paying attention or giving a fuck about his bag? Cause somebody tell me, and for the bitch that says she's gonna follow me, I don't give a fuck. Eat message me so I can block you. Fuck is you talking about? Do you want better, bitch? Fuck is you talking about? For the bitch that went over there after I ended my life, talk about unfollow me. How about you tell me to my face that you're unfollow me so I can block you? I bet you on my mama. I bet you won't do that. Maybe you just wanted some attention. The fuck out of here! Like I give a fuck about I unfollow. Do you know what I mean? People I unfollow a day. Bitch, I just unfollowed 500 people yesterday. Cause motherfuckers ain't gifting, bitch. I ain't, I'm fucking my following y'all for. Motherfucker, I ain't follow me, followed you. Bitch, I ain't never came over here. Fuck my following, but bitch, unfollow. Fuck is you talking about? Oh, my mama, I'll give a fuck about a follow, bitch. Oh, my mama. <clears throat> what I don't understand is what the fuck me ended my life because I said, I was going to end my life if I was on zero when this PK end, and then boom, I was on zero, or wait, I had about 46 beans, and I ended my life. What the fuck that got to do with KOB? I don't like that shit, because we damn near got the same motherfucking goddamn crowd, and you in front of our motherfucking people lying on me, nigga. I don't never throw salt on you, nigga. Oh, that's fucking salt you just throwed on.
on me, nigga. Now you got other motherfuckers can talk shit about me. You basically telling them to say fuck me too. That's weird. That's weird. I would never, nobody like fuck with. I would never do nobody like that. I'm telling you, I've been friends with Joe, knowing Joe for six years. That man have never did me like that. I ain't never seen no shit. You call him up for your friend. Then you vent the strangers. Knowing these motherfuckers want to see this. Vent the strangers about a lie. Man, I'm done. I'm solo, dolo, G. I fuck with P, China, and Joe. I'm done, man. I don't got time. And Journey, you know what I'm saying? If she still want to fuck with me, that's I'm done. And my family, my real recognized real fam, and people that fuck with me, man. Like, I'm done. If y'all don't want to fuck with me, G, don't fuck with me. Because ain't no motherfucker that, that fucks with me gonna do no shit that he did. I don't got time for that shit. Well, my life, that shit was just salty. Some dark, dark salt that was through on me. I don't even like salt. That's how I have blood pressure. I don't like salt. I don't find the fuck about your bag when I'm over here worried about my bag. I been like, oh, y'all see how I was good, right? I was good until I lied with him, right? Now he's lying, lying on me. What the fuck I got to do? What you got to do with me getting mad about me not getting no beans? That's weird shit, G. That's weird. I understand motherfuckers need some content, but uh, don't use me, goddamn it. Uh, you get beans regardless. Don't use me. All you gotta do is set up that smile, nigga. You ain't gotta. Don't use me. Fuck now. I swear to God, I'm done. This is my last little motherfucking month. And if I got to move, I move. I ain't finna... I don't give a fuck no more. Oh, my kids. I'm done. I'm tired. It's too fucking stressful. And the reason why it's so stressful is like not only do I have the haters hating on me. Not only do I have the haters hating. Here it is. Motherfuckers that supposed to be my friends are in front of viewers that supports me telling bullshit lies. Painting narratives. Motives. What is the motive behind that? Damn, all of my supporters already gone? What the fuck y'all want me dead and in the grave? That shit crazy. And I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck about her unfollow all my kids for the bitch that said it. Bitch, if you want to follow me because, 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 guess what? Inbox me so I can block you. That's it. That's all I ask. I was swear to God, I'm going to write here and I'll cash up you $5 if you inbox me. Inbox me say, Ivy, I'm the one that said it. As soon as you into your life, I'm the one that said it. I swear to God, because they screenshot it already. I just want you to prove it. Come on, let's go. I will pay you for unfollowing me. I will pay you to give me your ID so I can block you, bitch. You ain't got to unfollow me, hoe. Just tell me to block you. Fuck what you talking about? Do y'all understand? I don't give a fuck. Fuck, I look like giving a fuck and ain't no bitch. Thank y'all for the gifts, first of all. Second of all, what the fuck make y'all think I give a fuck about anybody that ain't gifting me? Anybody that ain't tapping the shit in my life. What the fuck make you think I give a fuck about y'all? Real talk. Real motherfucking talk. I got time, G. I am tired. Every fucking day is something. Bitch, this is my motherfucking life. If I'm gonna end it, I can end it. Fuck what you saying? Fuck what motherfuckers mad at me for ending my shit. Oh, now nah, I care about your back. I be you're mad because I'm getting beans. Oh, I be you're mad I'm getting beans. It's crazy. I can't get three dragons without people getting mad. The fuck that got to do with me? That lets me know what you're thinking. That's what you're thinking. That's what you think I'm doing. That's what you're thinking, bro. Just like last time, when you hit that milli, I was proud of you. Then I went like in a couple of days and cried because I'm like, damn, I want to hit a milli. What the fuck that got to do with you? Because I want to hit a milli. I've been wanting to hit a milli. I, before I even met you, KLB, I've been wanting to hit a milli. That's been my goal. For people that knows me. So to see people around me grow, it's amazing. I don't care about their bag. I want it to be big. Fuck me and Punk and doing business because we both want to see each other succeed. How the fuck are you? Man, you know what? I'm not even going to get mad, G. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it for what it is. I'm going to take it for what it is. Because I don't do shit like that. You live addressing me. About something you feel. I have no beef with KLB. I have no bad words for that man. I don't know why the fuck this nigga just went live and did that. I really don't. I don't know why he's doing that on his live. That's weird to me. Guess what Joe did? Joe text me. Joe, text me! And said, Ivy, calm down. And I had to tell y'all, this is my life. I do what the fuck I want over here. That's all I did. I said, y'all, this is my life. I do what the fuck I want. It's my life. I do what the fuck I want. You feel me? Motherfuckers don't want to watch me. They ain't going to watch me. But, I, but I'm not giving up. I'm used to three, four hundred views. I'm used to it. Huh? I'm used to not getting no views. I don't give a fuck about it. I can end this bitch. What? I ain't in my life yesterday on 2,000 views. I ain't in my life today on 1,500. I don't give a fuck about a view if it ain't bringing no revenue. That's all I say. Do y'all get that? 
Do y'all get that? That shit fucked up. Don't make it seem like I'm motherfucking B watching. I don't give a fuck about your bag. And I'm tired of saying this shit. I said this shit behind the scenes. Now like I say in public for the people. That shit weird. I tell motherfuckers every day. You can ask anybody. I tell motherfuckers every fucking day. I say, I don't want nobody that fucks with me saying anything about Ivy. They're going to gift you. Just wait on it. Don't You don't have to keep asking. I say, bitch, I'll be going to fuck away I want to. So if a motherfucker in my room, not motherfucking gifting me, and I say, bitch, I'm gone. If I don't get this amount, bye. I'm not working for free. Had nothing to do with nobody else's bag. Nothing. It got something to do with me. And y'all know I wasn't like this. Y'all know I wasn't like this, bro. I'm tired of having all the content and not getting revenue. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Now I'm the big bad guy because I ended my life. I know I was lying with you, nigga, but... I told them I was leaving. I said it a thousand times. You didn't hear me because you had me on mute, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Fuck is what you lying for anyway and I'm on fucking mute. The fuck? Shit weird, bro. I'm sitting here chilling all my life. Having fun. They say K.O.B. said line. I stopped the scooter a thousand times and I told y'all. <clears throat> Thank y'all, man, for the gifts. I'm so sorry. Um, I told y'all, <clears throat> I said, if I don't get a shield, I'm gone. I, I still don't think I got a shield, but I still moved on when I saw gifts coming. Because I'm like, damn. Then when I say, come on now, y'all, give gifts, then motherfuckers try to be funny, throw two or three maces. Man, the fuck out of here. I ain't talking about none of my supporters, y'all. Don't, don't think that. I'm talking about people that don't give me, I pay attention. Do y'all know when I be riding on my scooter and y'all, I be having my second device watching. I be watching the people in my life. That's how I run my shit. I don't give a fuck about the next person bag. I don't give a fuck about what you get, you get, or you get. I don't care. Fuck, I give a fuck about they bag. If anything, man, look. If I was worried about anybody bag, <laughs> the last person bag would be is yours. I'm just telling you. On kids. But I ain't, that's the thing. I'm not. I have never even thought of that. I have never even thought of that. For that to be in your brain cells, that lets me know a lot. For that to be a thought in your mind about me, that lets me know a lot. And that means you're not, you don't fuck with me. Period. You think I'm over here to hate on you. So you might as well tell the haters they're right. Tell the haters they're right. Oh, y'all right. Ivy been hating on me. Just say that. You might as well say that. Because if you're telling me I'm worried about what you're getting, you're basically calling me a hater. You're basically calling me jealous. You're basically saying that. Because I'm mad that I'm not getting no beans. I'm jealous of K.O.B. because he's getting beans. That's nowhere near what's going on here. That's no, why would I be fucking associated with somebody I feel that way about? That is what you call fake. And that's why I should change the name of my family to fake recognize fake there, right? Nah, nigga, I'm real. I would tell you like, damn, bro. Ugh. You know how I feel, G. I hate that shit when motherfuckers got to, I feel like at this point, if you got an opinion, I got a opinion too. If you think that I ended my life because you're getting beans, because I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. If I ended my life because you're getting beans, if I end my life because you're getting me, because that's basically what you're saying, then I'm going to say that you want to talk and make it seem like that so you can get content. If, 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 if that's the case, you're talking about me for no reason. You're talking about me so you get so you get content, period. I don't give a fuck. If we're going to lie, we're going to lie then. Let's lie. We both can do it. Oh, I'm worried about your bag and you using me for content, period. Because that's a lie. Never gave a fuck about nobody's bag. Never gave a fuck about nobody's bag. And that's why I'm done. I'm done, because it's like no matter what the fuck I do, there's so always somebody that takes me three steps back. And for it to be somebody I fuck with, that's fucked up. Don't motherfucking lie on me. Then you got all these people, oh, if it's not true, then why you get mad? I get mad because I'm tired of people playing my motherfucking name, G. Don't play with Queen Ivy, G. That is a brand. Queen Ivy is a motherfucking brand. Don't fuck with my brand, G. I will never been no motherfucking hater, bro. Never been worried about no motherfucking body bag, bro. I'm a real ass bitch. Motherfucking OG from the motherfucking hood. I know how to motherfucking get bread. I just decided to choose this app as my income. And bitch, I don't got to be here. On phone them, I ain't got to be on this motherfucker with a bunch of fake ass bitches. Real talk. Fuck a fake ass bitch. I don't need this app. Real talk. Real recognized motherfucker. Real. I got to what's that with my people. I ain't got time for this shit, G. My mama motherfuckers worried about me. 
Then the thing is, KLB act like we didn't have this conversation. KLB was getting beamed the fuck down, and he, we had a conversation. We was going to rotate the beans. So why the fuck am I mad that you getting beans that you finna throw on me so I can throw back on you and we can throw on our people? What the fuck am I mad? That's why I'm saying this shit. This is why I'm mad. We have these conversations behind the scenes. Motherfuckers coming up here like we don't. I swear to God, me and KB had a conversation. I think it was when he had that PK where he had, I think, like 20 boxes. He said, yeah, you know y'all for the eat woo-woo. Why would not be okay? Like, okay, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck am I mad at your bag and you, you break the bread with me? You ain't thinking about that? You just too busy, what? You want some views or something? I don't understand it. That's weird, bro. I'm tired. So tired. <laughs> I swear to God. Real recognize real. That was some fake ass shit right there. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was fake as fuck. I feel like a motherfucker could have hung up and called me. You feel me? <laughs> like the real friend would do. You feel me? Instead of going live now, oh, Ivy Jones and KLB for the bill. The whole thing. And I'm not. <laughs> but the only thing is, motherfuckers that know me, they know. And motherfuckers that was in that live, they know what I said. I said, I'm on zero. I said, the fucking crazy thing about this, every time it's my content, I'm the only one on zero. I said, you know what? If I'm still on zero, guess what? I'm gone. My girl, Blue Flame, she was trying. You know, she gives me heavy as fuck. Tip Tip was trying. All edibles, all y'all was trying. But it's like, y'all can't do it by yourself, G. I just got the phone with Tip Tip and I told Tip Tip, I'm like, Tip Tip, I understand that my attitude probably ain't rubbing people the right way. But at the end of the day, when I go live, I'll be like, hey, y'all, what's going on? I start off good. Now, if a motherfucker sitting here for hours and hours and hours and hours, bitch, who the fuck for the sit here for hours? So, yes, I ended my life. Yes, I ended my life. Yes, I ended my life. It ain't got nothing to do with KLB. The three dragon thing, I can understand why he would think that I was jealous that he got three dragons. I can understand that because as soon as he got it, when he took us off mute, uh, the girl told me, Ivy, before you say anything, oh my God, Ivy, let me talk. When she did that, it rubbed me the wrong way and I didn't want to disrespect nobody. And I told him, I said, it's good to see you making money, bro. I love you. I need to go make some money too. Boom. Because I ain't making no money on the panel. I wasn't anyway. I wasn't getting no good, so I said, let me go make some money, bro. I see if I was eating over there, okay? I'd be like, you know what? It's worth it to sit here and deal with somebody telling me to shut up. But it's not, and I was already on one. I was motherfucking tipsy. So I didn't want to take nothing the wrong way, so I left. I understand that, because me and I'm lying, and I explained that to him. And I said, bro, I'm going to tell you behind the scenes. I even called, tried to call him last night, and he was on the phone, so I said, all right, cool. But at the end, I don't pay no narrative, Joe. If you fucking like, don't know what's going on, bro, don't just make up shit. I understand you feel like that, but call me. Call me. And the thing is, you don't have to call me. You know why? Because you already motherfucking know. That's what just made me so fucking mad. We talk about this every day, bro. Every day I tell you, I'm like, bro, I ain't getting no beans, bro. This shit crazy, bro. And then he be having his days when he be like, man, this shit crazy. And that's why he be taking his little breaks. At the end of the day, don't fucking use me for content if I'm your girl. I have never did that to nobody. If I'm your motherfucker, you should not be talking about me and lying and whatever. I ain't gonna say lying. Mis like, you know, misinformation. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck about your bag, G. That fucking just fucked me up, G. That just fucked me up to the core. On my mama, they just fucked me up to the core because it's like I'm already going through shit with haters. And motherfuckers that I fuck with is starting to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like if motherfuckers can't deal with me, G, that's why I, I put the status up on Facebook. I feel like I'm use, useless to this motherfucker. I'm useless to this universe. Nobody understand me. Don't nobody give a fuck about me. They don't care how I feel. They only give a fuck about their feelings because let me piss them off. They're going to back up and they're going to do whatever. When they piss me off, guess what? Nothing. <laughs> that's how I feel like motherfuckers don't really give a fuck about me, G. Like, I don't care no more. I'm good. I've just been in, but I'm good, y'all. I swear to God, I am so tired of people playing with my fucking brand. I am so tired of people playing on my fucking top. I'm so tired of motherfuckers worrying about how I be them. I could have sworn this is the same motherfucker that had lined up and did not win a PK and ended his life and said, man, I'm tired of that shit. Motherfuckers just sitting there looking, knowing I'm losing. Look, right. I just, that, that's what I just did. I just did exactly what you did today. That, it was like a week ago you did that shit. You ended the fuck out there laughing in the people's face, but you didn't bitch and moan like I did. I, I'm a girl. I'm sorry. I may come off rough like a nigga, but I'm a girl. I, I, my, my, my hormones, when they be out of control, bitch, I'm snapping. I don't care. I just recently got my period that I have not had in three months. I just recently got on my motherfucking period, and I'm happy I had it, but that's probably why I've been like, you know what I'm saying? I've been a little attitude, but at the end of the day, what helps it, the attitude, grow is a little water. Put a little water on it, it won't hurt. And that's what the fuck he threw on. He threw water on that shit, bro. And now that motherfucking attitude of mine just grew. Because it's like, what the fuck did you just do that for? 
Why are you in your life in front of your people telling these motherfuckers I'm worried about your bag, G? I feel like you need to take that shit back with that fucking false information on my motherfucking brand, nigga. I don't give a fuck about your bag, G. Fuck is you talking about? We talk behind the scenes too much for you to do that shit. That's what fucking pissed me off. We talk behind the scenes. Real niggas recognize real niggas. If you had a problem, if you felt the type of way, you know both my lines. And my Facebook and my Instagram. Fuck is you on your life paying the false fucking narrative for? That shit weird. That shit weird. That shit don't look right. Hey, Abby. What's up? Look, um, I see you said it's your last month on bingo. Yeah. Um, what I think you should do is, um, it's just a suggestion. Like, looking, like, are you interested in going, like, look for employment? You know what I, I'm saying? I, I, I got, like, what I'm going to do after I leave here, I know what, I, you know, I got it in the bag. Bye. 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 Okay. I just asked. What the fuck you trying to act like you don't hear me, nigga? I hate when people do that. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do after I leave here. I, if I'm looking for employment, you know what I'm saying, I know how to find it. It's easy to find a job. I'm not working because, oh, I can't find a job. I'm not working because I don't have a, a you know, study babysitter. With the schedules I'm going to be getting, I, I don't have a babysitter for that. I don't have no help. That's why I, I gravitate to app a lot. And I do have a lot of uh, supporters on here. So don't get it twisted. I just get mad when motherfuckers be around my supporters. You know what I'm saying? Be trying to make me look bad. You know what I'm saying? You know trying to make motherfuckers not want to follow me no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. I hate that shit. That shit weird as fuck. And I learned that shit a long time ago. I'm not stupid. I learned that shit a long time ago. Motherfuckers gonna fuck with you like they fuck with you, but really be trying. Like, like motherfuckers trying to paint a picture on me. Like, I worry about they back. No, 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 no. Because when you were not getting no beans, bro, when you wasn't getting nothing, bro, just like gang gang. When motherfuckers weren't getting shit, I was that motherfucker helping us grow. Helping us grow. That's why y'all like, I right, this show show because I'm like, nah, niggas, ours. I don't want shit to myself. I'm spreading the wealth. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I ain't never been no hater. But motherfuckers that know my character, that's why I'm loving y'all. Thank y'all for the gifts. Y'all know my character, G. Y'all know I ain't nothing like what motherfuckers trying to make it seem, G. Real shit. And it's not even just KLB, just like I told y'all the other day. This have nothing to do with what KLB just did. Like he just lied on me. He just made it about him. And it ain't had nothing to do with him. Nothing that's going on with me has nothing to do with KLB. KLB's bad. And none of that. I don't know what the fuck he just got that from. And that's letting me know right there he don't fuck with me in real life. All these years he been fake with me. That's all that let me know. Because if you fuck with me, how the fuck could you think that about me? How could you think that about me, G? How could you think that about me, G? For you to think that shit, that shit weird. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Mm -hmm. For you to think, come on now, I'm naked, nigga. Damn, you gonna sit that. You, what you look at it? Not you, what the fuck? <laughs> he said, not you. Man, anyway. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ, please, God, Lord, help me. Please, God, lead the way. Please, God, give me a sign what I need to do next, God. Because on oh, Jesus Christ, I feel like motherfuckers is trying to destroy my character. I'm not talking about no person in particular. I'm just saying I've been feeling it. Now, that's the feeling. Now, that's the motherfucking feeling right there. <laughs> that's the feeling. Can y'all please let me know? <clears throat> That's the way I'm talking about for real. I am. I am. I, you know, I ain't, and it ain't everybody, man. I'm telling you, I know P a real ass nigga. I know Joe a real ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know it's some real ass motherfuckers in my circle, G. I just, when I start feeling like y'all on some weird shit, I got to get on that weird shit too, man. Real shit, I don't fall out with real niggas. I don't fall out with real motherfuckers. I ain't no falling out. Because ain't nobody going to take me the wrong way if you fuck with me, G. And nobody going to take me the wrong way if you fuck with me. I just had to talk with KLB. We had a true conversation. That's what y'all. <sighs> I already know. I didn't say it's KLB. I said it's just it's, it's a mixture. KLB and plus some. What he just did to me is fucked up to be my homie. What he just did to me is fucked up. It's basically like we was just lined up, okay? And I said if I'm on zero, which I do with everybody, even scout. Ask scout, G. I was just lined up with scout. Uh, excuse me. I said, damn. I said, damn. I said, how the fuck I'm still a zero and I'm the one with the content? I, I was lined up with Scout. Oh, so I'm checking for just Scout Bag too? God damn. I care about Scout Bag too? 
That's crazy. I said everybody I'm lying with. I said that clear. I said everybody I'm lying with, I'm always the one on zero is what the fuck I said. It don't be intentionally. Because before I start doing PKs, and before I start engaging to be I do get to three or four stars. So I'm like, okay, the people that's here probably drained. So maybe that's what it is. But at the end of the day, if I got to leave and come back for, you know, a new group of people, they got a new motherfucking recharge wallet so I can get, because I got a goal. I got a goal I'm trying to reach. So it's like, if I got to do what I got to do, how I got to do it, it has nothing to do with KOB or KOB's bag. That's what I'm saying. He just sat there and flat out lied on me, G. And motherfuckers already was sitting around talking about that I was motherfucking jealous of him. Thank you. Hold on. Who just do that? <sighs> bring your morning show. How the fuck I bring my morning show? Man, I ain't bring that shit. Man, fuck, man, fuck that shit. I'm off here. KLB ain't got no problem because, baby, I ain't finna focus on him. The fuck? I'm just going to regain my, 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 my motherfucking brand. I'm trying to patch up my brand that he just tarnished a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just made motherfuckers think I'm jealous of him. How many times do y'all, boy, when I be live, when, when do y'all see me say, tell KLB lying? I'm just saying. All of a sudden, I lie with you today. At the end of my live, I've been live for a couple hours. I ended my live, and that's what you do? That, that's what we doing now? That, that's what we doing? Fucked up. <laughs> real recognized, real fake recognized fake. Ain't nobody that support me that really fuck with me gonna leave me to go support the next motherfucker that's lying and hating on me. Period. Nobody gonna do that. So I don't know what motherfuckers be trying to do. That's why I say what's my people's motives. You know what I'm saying? I done gave away <laughs> enough supporters. I ain't everybody that's fuck with me right now is solid. That's why I said that bitch that says she's gonna unfollow me, inbox me. So I can do you one better. So I can block your bitch ass on my mama. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't give a fuck. I'm following everybody. Everybody that's following me, I'm following them. I guarantee you, I'm going to go through my list, and anybody that's not following me, I'm blocking. I guarantee you that's what's going to happen. Because, baby, I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you. Just like I told motherfuckers, having two, three million followers ain't shit if you ain't got no motherfucking beans. Wait, who just threw me that shield? Who just threw me that, y'all? Thank y'all, too, though. Now nah, I'm still cool. I don't, I ain't hating on KOB. Like he just made it like I'm hating on him, bro. And I don't. I still don't hate him. But that don't mean I can't be a real ass bitch and say how the fuck I feel. He over there talking about how the fuck he feel, right? Off a lie, right? He over there lying with me, and I was happy as hell. He lied with me with my happy ass just to do that shit to me, bro. I didn't have to lie with you, nigga. Then you would feel like I ended my life because of you. Fuck. I ended my life, and just like I jumped off your panel, I had nothing to do with your, your bag. You just said that's what you call business. Okay. The fuck? I don't got no, I don't care about that. But you just made it seem like I gave a fuck about that. You making it seem like I give a fuck about your starlings. I don't even know how to check a starlings. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I don't even check contribution lists, bro. I don't even check contribution lists. I swear to God. This shit just really took me out. First time I'm grateful. Now I'm worried about somebody else's bag. Come on, y'all. Please don't make me wait. Let me know what the fuck else is next. Please don't make me wait. Ivy's ungrateful, and she's jealous of KOB. Now can we get to the rest of it, how people really feel? Or do we got to wait until Mad Day? Huh? Do we got to wait until Mad Day because y'all put that shit out on the table right now? Fuck is you talking about? Motherfuckers don't fuck me. Fuck from around me, period. On the G's. Fuck is you talking about? I ain't with that fake shit. I'm from the hood, my nigga. I don't like fake. I don't like it. It irritates me. It makes me itch. Swear to God. Whoo, it makes me itch, baby. The fuck is he talking about? But anyways, like I said, let's make a list, y'all. Let's write a list. Uh, Ivy is ungrateful. Ivy is disrespectful. Ivy is jealous of KLB. What's next? Let me know, y'all. Let's finish the list. Come on. Come on. Since Ivy's brand is being tarnished all the way, let's get it. Let's go. Let's finish fucking up my brand. I, I, I thought I could fuck my brand up by myself. Now nah, I'm getting a little help. I'm getting a little help. <laughs> Come on, help me out. Finish helping me. 
What else? What else ideas? I'm hater. I'm disrespectful. And I'm ungrateful. What else ideas? Come on, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. Huh? Y'all can go across the screen. Go across the screen. Let me know what else. Go across the screen, y'all. What else am I? Come on. Go across the screen. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, y'all. <coughs> What's up? If they get up between the kick them, because I ain't gonna Oh, my bad. Took too long. You get up in this box, you better be ready to talk. I'm funny. Unless I know you. If I know you, you cool. But if I don't know you, you better talk. Or you getting boot. Because I'm not finna I'm not gonna kick you. I'm gonna you down. I'ma add you, but I'm not dropping you. Period. I'm going to add you, but I'm not dropping you. The, the, night, the night shit over with. I'm tired. Info ass bitch. Like, you need to cut that shit out. Get mad at your fucking supporters. Cause they get <laughs> False narrative. All right. Go across the screen and let me know. Because y'all know I ain't mad at my supporters, right? That's why I still got them, right? Okay. Cool. The fuck ring. Hey. What's going on? I'm sorry, girl. I'm just irritated. No, 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 no. You good? Mm -hmm. I just left KOB live. I don't know Oh, you're good. I'm for the, um, anyways, I'm gonna uh, slide it down. But what you were saying? I'll tell you, I'll tell you about. Hey, Ivy. Yeah, because I remember I've been talking to you about it, but I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about yeah. what just happened. I got you. Yeah. So, she said, oh, what's up, baby? She just called <clears throat> me. And the lady said that uh, Big Black Doorbell, the big, like, the, the weight is... A, a doorbell? Somebody stole a doorbell? No, like, you know, the gym stuff. Exercise. <gasps> oh, the, the, the workout shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Who the fuck was still that? I'm trying to think, cause none of them bitches is fit. Yeah, dumbbells. Okay, so the the, the, the dumbbells, the dumbbells. She said the uh, big black. It smell one. like smoke. And, and she said yeah, somebody the was big. Smoking. So who the fuck? You gotta think about fucking. I don't know if you was walking where everybody was leaving, but who? Girl, the, the, that's heavy. That's crazy. I, I bet you that cameraman probably did that. Cause he, I was he really was the only one back there. Like, I swear to God. Cause he the only one, like, I'm like, ain't none of them bitches fit. Half them bitches got big ass stomachs. <laughs> Including myself. But anyway, so myself. the dumbbells and the, uh, and then smoke, she said, and that was it. She said that the toilets, she, she said the toilets had black rings around them. And she said the, the basement smelled like, oh smoke. my God, what the fuck? Oh my God, which toilet? <laughs> All of them? I asked for that. Damn, that's crazy. We ain't had this problem at the last Airbnb. So we got to think about who came with us new. Because ain't nobody steal shit. No no complaints. That's crazy. So, but she got cameras. What the fuck? So all, all you do, tell us, like, hey, ma'am, could you go through the cameras? We walk the bam. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, screenshot me the picture. Whatever, if you see something, and I'll tell you what the name of the people is, huh? Like, for real.
That's the only thing I can say, because it's like, who the fuck? Unless she ain't had, if she ain't got no cameras in the basement, that's on her dumb ass. But, because that's where the, uh, the dumbbells was at. Okay, but, so. <clears throat> me personally. So, they said, they said I'm making up stuff. So, here I know you're not lying, because the motherfuckers in there look like they'll steal some shit. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Girl, I was and then, so and then she said, then she, said, then she said it smelled like smoke downstairs in the basement, and she said that it was black rings around the toilets. I can show that, too. Mm -hmm. So, Mm -hmm. so I told her everybody was smoking on the patio. So I mean, no, nah, that girl, that girl, that uh, West Side baby, she the way she was talking about, we smoking there, we putting a ring under there. That bitch smoked blacks back to back to back to back to back to back. So she wasn't outside and upstairs a lot. So I believe she just put that thing in there, probably turned that water on the bathroom or something, and smoked. Did she say smoke just smell like smoke down there, or did she say smell like it in the room? She said. She said the basement. She didn't. I asked her what area in the basement. Oh, girl. Girl, that shit just really made me like it because it's like motherfuckers like, gee, that's the weird ass shit. You got to think about it. Motherfuckers probably did that shit on purpose so you could get, you know, what you're getting right now. All the, the place and stuff. That's some weird ass shit, G. It's like, why I don't understand. Why, why would they steal some gym equipment? Who would steal gym equipment? That shit foul. That shit foul, G. Like, heavy. She said the big black was, she said the big black was, though. The cameraman is the only person I can see because at the end of the day, what bitch, <laughs> what female thinking about Jimmy equipment? And then he was back there. He moved all the equipment out, remember? Remember? He moved all the gym equipment out of the green room, remember? Yeah. Did he put it back? I don't know. Yeah, probably tell her that. Say, tell her to check the basement. She. Damn. Talk about black ring, right? Because ain't no two days gonna do that. And then I said, then. It... Mm -hmm. So are you said black rings in the toilet or black rings in the tub? In the toilet. Then Man, she which, said. Did she say which bathroom? No. She probably talking about that bathroom in the basement. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a female. I always look at the toilet before I pee or anything. But I, I ain't to take no number two in that motherfucker. So I ain't take no number two in that bitch. So, but I always, you know, look at the toilet. And then, and then, remember I told you. And then, and then, what I don't understand is this: who was still gym equipment? Girl, the only nigga that was there. Cause ain't nobody else go back there by the gym equipment. Nobody, none of our visitors. Nobody. Motherfuckers, they go past that bar. And the German queen moves past the bar. Yep. Just don't drop my shit. Ooh, just tell her, say you for the call around. Say you for the call around, say because you did, you know, film, you know, if she knew what you was doing when you got there. Just tell her, whatever, whatever. Like, man, look up for the call around and see if I can locate where some of this stuff is at and tell her to do our part two. Shit, y'all got cameras in there, right? The fuck? Just do y'all part two? Shit. Girl, now I got to go switch my motherfucking card. Because I'm not... Girl, lock it. Whatever card. Lock it. Whatever card you got, lock it. So can't nobody take no money from you. Just lock that bitch and like you said, switch it. Girl, because she probably motherfucking lying anyway. That's why I don't be renting Airbnbs and shit. Because motherfucker can lie just so they can keep your deposit. Swear to God. That's why I had to get my money. Uh -uh. I had to get all of my money. They said, they, them, uh, uh, this car uh, rented. They said, keep saying lying. All right. I, just stay live if you want to and I, I'll lie you back, okay? I can't be wrong person.
What's up, bro? Hello. Why you call KLB? Nah, that was Why an you accident. My phone first? You know I can't see. <laughs> I just saw Faze and I said boop and I was like, oh. Y'all come to my lawn. Me and Ivy over here. Huh? Come to my lawn. Me and Ivy. KLB. <laughs> what happened? Nah, I said it was an accident. You know I can't see. Bro, we need to invest in some Bluetooth headphones for you. <laughs> I'm finna walk out of here. No, nah, it ain't cause it's loud. It's so you can't hear because you can't hear me. Uh, I'm about to say you ain't loud. It ain't loud. Yeah, Who the fuck? No, you ain't got no inside voice. <sighs> Ivy, what okay, so... Yeah, so crying. look, so I'm, you know, uh, every time I be uh, going live, right, I always have a problem getting gifts. This I've been on this app right. for four years. Before I even knew KLB, I was having a problem getting gifts. So right. when I um when I um right. was riding on the scooter, I was telling them, I was like, y'all, if we get some three stars, I'll take y'all with me. If not, then I'll just come back and then go live. So they got me the three stars, so I rode the scooter. They said KLB stay in line because I was watching them from my other phone. I had it tied up to the scooter. So I was like, Stopped the scooter and I lined with him, right? So we was lined and I had to keep I had to keep stopping the scooter right. to tell him. I'm like, I don't know if y'all don't know, but I'm watching from my other phone and I'm not getting no gifts because y'all gift me. So they wasn't gifting me. So then they I said, give me a shield or I'm right. gone. And I always do that because it's like fuck am I that's just like right. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm not gonna be live. I'm a host. I'm not gonna be live and not getting paid. I might as well get off here and go do something else to get some money. So at right. the end of the day, when me and KLB was right. lying, then Cammy lying, he cussing out. Me and her can't even c communicate. He mute me and her, and I was respecting him by not muting him, but I didn't even know right. he had me on mute. So I could have just muted him, and Cammy could have muted him, and me and her could have talked. Right. If he had both of us on mute, to just do that. So after that, you know, I right. didn't care about that because I didn't want to talk to Cammy no motherfucker way. But then when me and him, when me and him was lying, right. um, we did another five minute and I'm trying to make money. I'm not sitting here for free. So when we got down right. to one minute and I said, y'all, I am on zero. If I am still on zero, by the time this time I run out, I'm ending my life. Bro, I don't give no warnings. Right. I just end my shit. So all I know, I ended right. my shit. I got a call from one of my supporters, I ain't even gonna say their name, and they said somebody went over to KLB Live and said they had to unfollow you because blah, blah, blah. I said, tell them to message me, the person that unfollowed me, so I could block them, because fuck them. Nigga, you don't gift me anyway, bitch, because I wouldn't be begging for gifts. So when I said that, that's when um, I told Tip to hold up, because I was going to go to KLB Live to confront the lady that said she was going to follow me, right? But right before that, right. I hear KLB like, man, motherfuckers, I get three. I can't get beans without motherfuckers worried about what I'm. I'm like, huh? So this is what we doing now. Yeah. So I go up there, I say, KLB, are you, is this about what do you, me end of my life? He said, uh, yeah. I said, bro, what the fuck they got to do with you? He like, man, it seems like every time I'm getting gifted, I can't get gifted. Nigga, I don't care about you getting gifted. I don't know what your starless look like. I don't know what, what looks like. I'm talking about me. I care about my bag. So why are you on your life right. in front of people telling, painting a narrative that I am jealous of you, basically. That's what you're basically saying. Like, I don't care about your right. bag, bro. I care about my bag, bro. Like, what right. the fuck? I do this shit when I'm not lying with anybody. Even when I was lying with Scout, I said the same thing. I said, if I'm on zero, when this live end, I'm ending my life. And guess what I did? I, I didn't even really have to end it because I wasn't on zero. But as soon as the revenue stopped, I got up off here. Because I'll, I'll do that. I ain't finna be sitting here in front of motherfuckers that's screenshotting and hating on me, bro. Y'all screenshotting and hating. I don't got time for that. If y'all ain't gifted, what else is y'all doing? I, I, yeah. <sighs> if I if I if I if I ask you, let me uh if I ask you to give me a hundred dollars, is that it? Is I'm asking to borrow it or am or am I asking you to just am I asking for you to give it to me for free? Um, it depends. I don't know. Um I, you ain't say can I borrow? So I guess you um want it for free. All right, all right, if I say, okay, let me get a hundred dollars real quick. Real quick? That's uh yeah, you wanna get it real quick so I can get it right back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's borrowing. What I'm saying is if I ask you for something, it's a not a gift. Right. All right, so you can't ask people to give you gifts. Gifts just come because people give them to you. Right. If you ask for them, then it's if no more so 
You want to gift an app, meaning I can give whoever. Like I like today, if I don't got no money, I don't got to give you shit. That's true. Whether you ask for it or not. That's you get true. more money when you don't end your life. Because this, let, let me tell you this. When you ain't getting no money and you want to end your life, just end your life. Mm-hmm. Don't say if I don't get no gifts, because then they're going to say you only going live for money and it's a free app. Then right. they really not going to give you that. Right, that makes free. sense. So that's what I do. I be having times where my shit ain't doing nothing. I just end a live. I just be like, what y'all finna do? I get off. I don't never say that. You can't say that, because when people think you're all here for money and they know it's free, they're going to go watch somebody else or they'll jump in the window. Most right. don't care about getting kicked out of live for not paying you. Right. And that's what you I was know, just going to say. More shit when you, I was gonna and you're blessed. Motherfuckers make sure they take care of you. Every yeah. trip, every all that. Yeah. You got to be more grateful. Uh, even if you don't, you got to thank the thank you even on days you don't get shit. Because at the end of the month, you're going to still have a check. So even this, everybody can't, it's Christmas time, Thanksgiving. All everybody type of can't do it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, bro, I other. do I do my content. Like, right. That's what I was telling KLB. That's why I was so mad just now. I had a two hour conversation with KLB. Even Joe texted me and you even saying this. So it's like if so many people saying that maybe I am be going probably the wrong way. But the thing is, I try to come live and I try and, and, and have a, a certain thing that I do. I definitely don't go live because I, I mean, you know, just for beans, because what I do is I have a goal. Like right now, I'm at five stars. They won't hear me ask for another bean. My goal will be five stars to a box. If I get five stars. I'm cool. So when I be coming live every day, you can ask my supporters, the ones that know I don't be talking about them. I swear to God, I'll be like, you know what, y'all? What I'm going to start doing is if I don't get my goal, I am going in my life. But instead of just ending it, I do say, if y'all don't woo woo, I'm gone. But just like it's a gift and they don't have to gift me, I don't have to broadcast. So that's what I was going with it. But like you said, that was some great advice as a brother. I don't have to say shit. I could just sit and sit. And then if I feel like, you know, do my entertainment and sit and sit, whatever, then I could just end it. Majority, let me tell you this last part. The majority of my anger came from we had this morning show for years, bro. And motherfuckers came, stole our idea, stole some of our supporters or whatever, right? So we stopped doing the morning show for whatever reason. So now I have to find other content, right? So the content that I do, even if it's, you know, whatever well, it is, it's yeah, been me, like Tommy K- KLB do another morning show. I, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I want to do another morning show. I just don't want to do a morning show and then the people saying ain't nobody camming up, ain't nobody why am I gifting the panel that ain't participating and Ivy the only one talking. Even though don't worry about that. Ivy, that ain't okay. shit you worry about. Right. You don't worry about. That. I get on live. I get on live to do what the fuck I want to do. I'm the host. Right. I do what I want to do. You can. Right. So. If you don't like it, come back the next day. Every day, it's going to be somebody that don't like what you're doing or just go find something else. Yeah. Don't worry about nobody else. You do your mm. thing, motherfucker. That's what pay off in the end. When yeah. they see you genuine about it, then they going to start bringing your gifts. A lot of people on this app done lost gifters because they ask for them. They be like, shit, I'd rather go over there and just watch such and such. At least I ain't got to pay to be in there. Run me up or right. everybody getting on all that shit. That's, motherfuckers make thousands of dollars every month and talk right. to their phone. Shit, that's a blessing. Yeah, but I ain't wanted to come off like that. And that's what a lot of people was telling me. They said, that's what it's rubbing off as, that you being ungrateful and stuff. And I'm like, wow, because that's not what I'm doing. Like, everybody that's on my contribution list, I thank them. And even, like, ask Blue Flame, ask Tip Tip, ask any Big and Juicy, ask any of my gifters. I tell them, I say, when they when I keep asking like I'm like hey y'all let's get to our next star y'all when I do that I swear to God when I don't when 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 the blue flame or anybody my one of my biggest gifts when they gifts I'm like no no please not you not you even I even told KLB no, KLB I... came and dropped me three or four dragons before and I said KLB I want to talk about you and then he's like it's like you know I was so I said you know what I'm gonna try to find a different way to be go and I guess I I guess I was rubbing off like that and I don't like looking like that I don't I don't want it to look like that I just started getting fed up with people calling me bro. But I can't even make a bag on here. People know why I'm not working, and it's not their fault. I'm not saying that you know that they're obligated. I said that if I, you know, what I'm saying can't make money on Bigo to pay my bills and have fun doing it, I might as well not do it. Right, at all. but how can you, you can't disrespect? Right, that's cool. But you can't disrespect me if you're not paying your bills and I am paying your bills. You can't disrespect me when I don't pay your bills one time. But how, how am I get, how am I disrespecting you? I'm not disrespecting you not if you me, are. I'm talking about no, no not you. I know. I'm no. I'm speaking with you. I'm talking with you. Like I know what you say. Like you how am I disrespecting that I, person? If I give, if I give you three shields today and tomorrow you say I'm getting off live because I ain't getting gifts. Look, I just sent you sixty to a hundred dollars yesterday. 
but I gotta suffer because other people don't got it. Like hell, no. Nah, you just do your shit. Now, if you be on there for hours and it's just dead, then yeah, I respect that. But a motherfucker don't. When you sign up for this app, it don't say you must two drink minimum. Like motherfuckers. They did. They, they did days, inbox so me, <laughs> Keith. They inbox me one time when I first uh, downloaded Bigo, and they said we see you have no activity in ten days. If you don't have any activity, we're gonna deactivate the account. I don't know if they're doing that anymore, but that was around like two, three years. Well, three years ago when I was first started it, and I thought that that's what they were saying. Like if y'all not gifting on here, y'all gotta go. That's what I thought they were saying, but if they ain't uh, making that a rule, no more, no well. Motherfuckers that ain't hit quotas in eight months, they don't give a fuck. They like when you don't hit your quota. That's all right. free money for them. We don't got to right, shit. right. <laughs> like when you don't hit your quota, they ain't kicking you off. They, if you ain't active at all, then yeah. But like I said, at the end of the day, you like you in a better position than a lot of people. So you don't think like. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine if you was the only one getting gifts and you only get the gifts you're getting right now. Just say three, four hundred K. I don't know what you get. Now what you get. It's a lot of motherfuckers hitting 40 K and ain't complaining about shit. Because they don't need it's this app. Like, I tell people exactly. every day. That's I, what you're not supposed to. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I, I can't I can't help that, that that I need the app. Like, I can't help that the situation I fell yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I said. You I can easily family. like I can easily not le need it, you know, and don't you know what I'm saying? Leave my crib. I can easily do that right, just until until that. I can figure it out. Cause I, no, I don't have no baby. You can figure it out now and make this a hobby. Because if yeah. they take, if you wake up tomorrow and the app is gone, you not go goddamn be homeless and then you go go find a way to get some money because you was getting some. Before that's, what that's what I said. That's what I said. And, so and do if, the and same if, shit. Look, look, can I say this too real quick? So, you know, the incident that happened with my son, right? Like, I could easily put my fears to the side, even though I almost lost them with a babysitter, right? I could easily put my fears to the side and, you know, put him in, in a random person's hand so I could go to work. I could easily do that. But it's fucking with my anxiety even when I go anywhere, go to the store anywhere, it fucks with my anxiety if I have to leave him with somebody that's not my family. Now, when I go on trips, that's only two or three days and he's with family. But for me to go work every day, they work every day. They off on the weekend, they can help me on the weekend. So it's like, you know, going Monday through Friday or whatever, whatever, I can go get a weekend job or something, but Monday through Friday, I gotta figure out what my, my, my son going and he got autism and motherfuckers might wanna throw him off the fucking balcony again. I gotta think about that behind my motherfucking neck every day. And that's the only reason why I just said, fuck it, you know, he's getting older and hopefully I can, you know, one day find a common ground to where I can have a, like, you know, when Wayne was here, he was watching my son. It was easy. Then when he started being weird, I couldn't, I couldn't trust him with my baby no more. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's a lot. People don't know about me, but it's cool because I ain't, it ain't their obligation. Just like, you know, people know that, but. It's a long story, but like I said, I, I told my motherfuckers this might be my last month because I'm tired. I'm tired of having to just sit here. You know, I'll I be having fun on that because I fuck with everybody, but it's just like when all of the negativity come, you get beat down every single day, and it's like I'm not doing shit to nobody, and then narratives is coming through. That's when I started that gift me or get the fuck out. I just started doing that last month. I ain't, I wasn't like that. You could ask people. I just started doing the last month because I got tired. I'm like, y'all not gifting, and I'm seeing screenshots about me. All of this, y'all only in here to talk about me. That's where the anger and the get the fuck out come from. It don't come from because you ain't really gifting. It's come from bitch. You what you in for? Like y'all here talking shit, and then you you should see some of the shit they be saying to me. That shit gets to me, and I do. I take it out on the wrong people. I even had to apologize to Journey because I was in her in the room and she in so many words called me ungrateful. So I, I snapped because I'm like, you saying I'm ungrateful and that's not the case. I'm really tired of fighting on this app for the respect I feel oh. like. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let me explain something. With you and Journey, 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 y'all, you and Pumpkin was having differences on y'all show. So Journey yeah. said, you know what? I'm going to get Ivy a camera. She could do her own shit. Then she sent you the camera, and she found out that it was all a storyline. It was oh, not a storyline, yeah. G. Me and Punk, it really, like, what people don't understand about Chicago people, I could come slap you on your motherfucking face today and give you a hug tomorrow. That's how our personality is. We're not like a lot of people. The thing is with Pumpkin, and she could tell y'all it was not a storyline. The thing is with Pumpkin, she felt like I was trying to tarnish her show. When you came yesterday, you saw how I was acting. I was only acting like that because Pumpkin want everybody to be aggressive, and then that aggressiveness turned into some real fucking Adrian. And that bitch who I was about to clock when you blocked when you blocked it on my mama, she had my wig on her head and I was gonna snatch my shit off because you're talking all this shit with my shit on your head. 
You know what I'm saying? Then you wait to, like, we cool. Then you wait till the cameras come on to talk shit. So Punk can be taking these girls in the back to tell them to attack me. At that time, that's how I felt. So then me and her fell out. So after that, she called me a week later and said, Ivy, are you ready to uh, calm down and finish the show? And I said, bitch, what the fuck you blocked me for if you knew this shit was your fault? We had a talk and we back cool. Same thing that happened with me and KOB before. Same thing that happened with me and China before. What's, what's the difference? Because it's fucking... We were talking for a whole week, me and Puckett. She blocked me on all social media accounts, even on here. For no reason, though. All because of, you know what I'm saying, her feelings and her, the way she feels. That was, I don't do storylines. I don't do none of that shit. They even think the pull up with me and Puckett was a storyline. I was feel man, that shit was real. I don't do that shit. I'm a real ass bitch at the end of the day. That, that, that don't make sense. And, and, and Journey been talking about giving me that camera before that. She been saying she was going to give me a camera. But when that incident happened, she, you know, put a, you know, you know, she put an express on it. The whole trip was a storyline. Y'all can say it all y'all want to, but it wasn't. I don't do storylines. I don't do that shit. And Punky, like, just like with Ashley, when me and her got into it, she came back and said it was a storyline. I don't do fucking storylines. I don't fuck around with bitches that can't be real. Because if you'll do a storyline like that, that means that you'll fuck around and, and, and lie on me on your live just to get some content. I don't, I don't even want to start no, no shit like that. Hell no. I was doing weird shit when I was, you know, fucking around with bread and them, but I got tired of that shit. If I wanted to keep doing that shit, I could have stayed over there. I don't fuck with that weird shit. Well... But I don't want to rub nobody the wrong way. That's why I said I'd rather just get out the way. It's crazy. Now, I'm not letting nobody come in. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. I just feel like it's a big-ass big ass misunderstanding. And, and on my part, too, like, I, I just started getting, like, fed up. You know? I just started getting fed up with it more than just that. Like... But it's all good. You know, people gonna have narratives. Just like I'm scamming with the motherfucking rappers. Every fucking thing Ivy do, they turn it into some bullshit. Like, bitch, if you don't know what the fuck going on, stay up out my face. Like, I don't understand. Then they go to other motherfuckers to pay narratives and shit. And then they was already saying I was jealous of KLB. And he ain't do nothing but put a motherfucking goddamn nail in the coffin. Like, by, by doing that to me. I would never do that to nobody I fuck with. I talked to you behind the scenes before I come on this app and do some shit like that. And I talked to KLB last week for two hours about the reason why my attitude was changing on this app. But it's good though, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I know that, but that's the thing. Don't go to nobody I fuck with trying to lie on me, though. That's I understand they always say everybody's scam, but come on now. Ain't nobody well, got to scam nobody. I don't got to scam nobody. If, I, if that was the case, I'd just sit up and ask for a donation. I'd be like, could y'all send me a dollar or two dollars to the cash out? What the fuck I'm going to do a raffle for? The fuck? I get more money by asking. I don't get a lot of money by doing raffles. I give half of that shit away. The fuck? That's why I understand people on this on this app. They weird. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <sighs> I ain't a title. That's why I just like like he said I should just end it instead of saying saying my part in words. But I don't I don't feel a title. When I do my content, I do it like for instance, it's two thousand five hundred people over here. I ain't getting no gifts. Do y'all hear me bitching about a bean? I'm on five stars. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I was trying to say. Like, when I get to a goal, I'm good. I give y'all my content. I tell y'all all my business. I do everything and anything. I say, what y'all want me to do? Y'all want to ride a scooter? Y'all want me to do this? I ask y'all, and we start off good. Then if two or three hours go past, and I'm still sitting on two or three stars, you know, I, 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 I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? I do that sometimes. Then I come back. If I'm still two, three more hours and I ain't getting it, then I start getting agitated. I take bipolar medication. I'm, I, I apologize. If y'all feel like I'm ungrateful and entitled and all that, I switch up my, you know, say ammo. But I, I feel like when people come from my character, it just really fucks me up in the head. It really do. For real. Bitch, your mama lying. The fuck is you talking about? Bitch, I ain't got to laugh to now, bitch, on this app. On kids. I ain't got to laugh to now, so. Because who the fuck are y'all? 
Besides my supporters. What the fuck are you talking about? That's a lot right there. <laughs> but I ain't tripping though. Like, I feel better now. When I be aggravated, everything tend to piss me off. But, you know, when I calm down, like, I, I realized, and I knew that shit, though. I knew it. I knew I was coming off as, like, this, you know what I'm saying, ungrateful-ass person. But that ain't what I was trying to give off. It's like the, the, the thing I'm trying to give off, I am not giving. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. Like, you know, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm doing it in the wrong way. I don't know. I just, you know, I just got to fix it. I just got to figure it out, go back to the drawing board. The morning show was lit because I sit there and I'm like, y'all, let's get to four stars. Then we'll start the show. Boom, I'm at four stars. And if, at least if I get about 5K before we end up the thing, I'm on five stars. So that was lit. So now it's like I got to do everything and it's taking more energy than just replaying some YouTube. You get what I'm saying? Or we don't even have to replay YouTube. We can do whatever. Like the morning show, but we live regardless when it's lit motherfuckers on the panel, period. But if I'm on the panel with people that can't down sleep and I'm just sitting here asking, like, you know what I'm saying? That's what made them stop gifting the panel so we just stop. I don't want to trap motherfuckers that can go live and get hella beans. I don't want to trap them on the panel with me for hours and then they could have been doing something else. Yeah. And you know what, Pastor? I ain't gonna lie to you. You, you know what I do yeah. notice, though? I do be like, damn. What is wrong with me? Why I can't get, you know, a higher tier? So that's probably why people feel like I care about what the fuck they got going on. But if I'm watching Bigo and I find out and go to these people lives and watch Bigo, I'm like, damn, motherfuckers, I don't got to sit there, huh? And I'm like, shit, I'm doing all this flipping around uh, and shit and I ain't getting shit, huh? Motherfuckers are average, though. That's come from motherfuckers doing their shit yeah. and, and staying down for the they stand down. Yeah. That's not switching up. Yeah. And you gotta think motherfuckers be on here all day. You gotta be on this bitch all day to get a problem. Once you get it, then you can pick what time people will be looking Yeah. For. Motherfuckers ain't looking for everybody. Right. So you gotta put in work and pay off in the end. You just do the morning show and chill. All these people in the morning gonna know about you. You gotta do it at nighttime and make them come to the morning show. Yeah, I don't. Okay, me neither. Okay, hold on, KC. Me neither, though. You see how you just painted a false narrative, uh, KC? I don't either. So if you want to put a word, you need to erase supporters and put, uh, uh you know, free logos and leash. That's what you need to put. Cause I don't. None of my supporters feel like that. I ain't lose no support on my mama. Ain't none of my supporters on honey. Only time I get mad is when my supporters, it's only like five or six of them gifting, and it's a lot. It's like 2,000 people, and ain't nobody doing that. That's what I get upset. But what I'm going to stop doing is get mad at that. I'm going to stop getting mad. I've been in my life with 2,000 people before and no gift. I did it. That's all, that's all I'm going to do. Y'all ain't got to get me. Fine. You feel me? Like, that's how I feel. Because I feel like I'm here to entertain and hopefully get gifted. So if I don't get gifted and I don't get the support, then what am I here for? It's like you're here for nothing. You get what I'm saying? Ain't nobody commenting, ain't nobody tapping, ain't nobody sharing, ain't nobody gifting. Like so, That's why I be like, bye. Best thing you can do is there. Huh? If you only hear money, you should just download all the apps. I do. I got, uh, and I'm not just here for money. money. You know, I like the app. I enjoy the app. I enjoy talking to my people. Money, but the money ain't got shit. Money has nothing to do with. But if you, they told you you could get, I could give you a, you could get a hundred dollars for you can make somebody bad day turn around. Which one would you rather have? Well, I, so, I don't uh, mind. Like, look, I don't mind. Like, God damn. Damn, fucking phone just died. But yeah, so like I was saying, I um, I really, I is he still here? My phone just died. Is he still here, y'all? Thank you, Sage. Could y'all hear him? He not here no more. 
So it's just me. Right. Oh, okay, he in lines. Okay. Yeah, my phone had died. Oh, I thought that was my shit. Fucking I know, I know, I know. My phone was uh dying. I had a trip phone. Now I was saying like you can ask anybody. That's why my like I said, my support ain't went nowhere. The people that is complaining about anything I'm doing is the people that ain't supporting me. But the thing is, I don't mind, you know. Here, like literally, I, when I reach my goal, this to show you right here, Keith. When I reach my goal, I still go live, bro. I still go live and I be like, y'all, no, no gifts. I still go live, bro. I promise them, I'll be like, y'all, we only need one more shield to get to who off the fam, y'all, and we made it. Then once we make it, I still stay live. I still go live the last of five days. Because they be like, Ivy, you coming back? I'm like, yeah. Those are my supporters. That's what I'm talking about. The people that be complaining be the people that ain't, ain't sending shit. But that was the great advice, Big Jackie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I need to just stop worrying about these negative ass people. But those same negative people that's responding to me probably go on another page and go and just go complain to people that's around me. And I don't like that. But I I, I, I do like to be confronted on okay, if I'm if I'm doing too much, I I I it ain't perfect, I calm down. It's my fault that I'm in a situation I'm in, you know, I can't blame nobody. So I can't get mad at y'all. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get on here. Sometimes you get on this bitch and having a bad ass day, and the comments or watching somebody else to make your day better. It don't cost yep. shit to make your day. So fuck the money. Sometimes you get on here and you be fucked up mentally, and you gotta talk to people. You don't pay them. You go in there and ask me some shit. I'm not charging you. You should pay me for my content. No, your smile worth more than the fucking bean. And you gotta understand that bean shit temporary as fuck. You want people yep. that go fuck with you the long way when the app over still be reaching out. You want nobody saying, no, I ain't fucking with Ivy, the app done. All that she gonna do is ask for some money. So money ain't shit. And then you gotta understand, if you could tell everybody, don't give me and thank y'all, I reach my tier. It should be the same way when you don't hit it. Fuck it, no, I ain't hit it, That's I hit true. it next month. Because it's all gifts. It's right. all shit motherfuckers giving you that they work for or whatever, hustle. However they got it. Right. True. And I do. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got a little shit. I got a little shit going on outside of here, too. You feel me? But, you know, it's you know it's hard, but it's hard for everybody. So that's why I don't even really be on here like, damn, y'all, I'm short of my rent. Or, damn, y'all, my light's going off. Or, damn, y'all. I don't get on here like that. I get on here. I get in my contact. I'm like, hey, y'all. You know, I'm on zero. You know, I'm starting off on zero. I'm like, hey, y'all, what's up? Y'all, let's get to this three stars. We're going to do the I always start off with great energy because what I do notice that closed mouth also don't get fed. So if I, if I I done tested all of that. Being on here four years, I done tested every theory. I done got on here not asked for nothing and just talk to give content for three, four hours and be on zero. There ain't no way I should be on zero if I'm a host. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. So then I'd be like, hey, y'all, can we get to that? You know, first star, y'all? That's only like less than a dollar, 50 cents. So then, you know, I stopped doing that because me doing that, I see y'all, you know, just, so then I go, okay, y'all, let's get the four stars and be on the stars for sure. That's what made me start that. And that was still me too. All I do, just like you said, all I do is I don't get to my goal. I go out with my life. I hear no. this. No show. Fuck you, come on. This is the way I'm saying, though. I in real exactly. life. Exactly. Four stars ain't shit, right? It take five, hold on, yeah. hold on. It take 5K to get to four stars. You gotta be at 5K. So listen, y'all give me $100 to start my show. Give me $100 to start my show. I'm charging yeah. y'all $100 to start my show. That's what you're saying. Yeah, and a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people charge more than that. Corporate charge $10,000. And I know his clout is up, is up there, but he charged ten. Corporate, corporate. He charged Who? ten thousand. I know that's what I'm saying. I'm nowhere near him. He, I know that. He got millions of followers. He ain't charged that shit on here. He ain't charged that shit on here. He ain't on here no more. His following didn't come with him. Now he ain't degrading him. He definitely somebody, but on here, we watch the celebrities. And the people, the people. Come on here and don't be shit. Yeah, you doing true. better than but for the people that saying I'm not corporate, I wasn't here. saying that for that. They went way over y'all head. Y'all see, Pete didn't say that. He didn't say you're not corporate. The thing he said was he got over a million followers. That's true. I'm nowhere near the million follower mark. But the thing is, I know I'm not corporate. That's why I only asked for a hundred dollars. 
Because I know that the $100 is going to help me continue to, you know what I'm saying, be able to maintain through life. So if I ask for $100, I don't feel like I'm asking for much. Right. But that's why I got thousands of people watching me. The same person ain't supposed to be doing it every day. That's where my frustration come in at too. But I'm not going to let it frustrate me no more. But that's where it was coming from. Like, I'm not expecting the same person. That's why I used to get mad. I used to be like, Blue Flame, if you don't stop gifting me. I used to do that all the time. I used to disrespect my supporters for gifting me. That That's different. I'll be like, I don't want the same person gifting me. I get too many people in my room for the same person to be gifting me. That's your fault. How? Huh? Huh? That's your fault. That's your fault. Because how you gonna complain about me not giving you something and making me <laughs> yeah. people that got it? Stop giving yeah, it. Get it from the people that got it that don't need it. You see it? I ain't asking for it. I thank you. Ain't, ain't no stop. No, yeah. no, the fuck? Send me your all that. Then listen, you'll tell them don't send you nothing else. <laughs> And they'll go watch mm -hmm. the other person. They get back to the came to me, right? Like, yeah, that's right. You motherfuckers feel <laughs> gifted. You don't want them. Yeah. yeah. Some days it's yeah. my day to get the gifts. So you'll see a motherfucker on four stars one day. You'll see them on five boxes one day. Everybody get a shot at it. Everybody has yeah. a chance where everybody coming in here. Capitalize. I see 4000 in here, man. Everybody send me a dollar, man. I need a dollar. I ain't stopping the show. Send me a dollar and then we keep going. Period. I ain't going to keep asking. I'm going to look at that bitch at the end. I just want a mace. If I get it, cool. But I ain't never know all I'm going to end my life. I'm blocked. Kick everybody out. Yeah. Like, I don't that normally do that shit, but I was getting frustrated. I don't do that. I've been on this out three years. I just started doing that shit last month. And I actually only started saying kick their ass. Like, I said that shit twice. Out of my mouth. Twice. Because I was irritated. I'm like, fuck y'all here for y'all. Man, y'all trolls always talking shit about me. And y'all see y'all ass over here. Fuck y'all here for that's what my motive is. Like, my motto is, bitch, get off my life. You don't support me. Like, for real. Somebody came to my life and, and jumped in my box. They're going to say, stand up. Drop the phone up. I said, bitch, what did you send me? And you got all of these motherfuckers, goddamn. You want me to do all this shit? Man, kick that nigga out my shit if he don't send no beans. <laughs> but I, I know. I guess I guess that ain't the way to be, though. I don't know. But motherfuckers got me fucked up. I'm serious. But uh, I guess... Some of the, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it does. I, I'm learning though. Like I said, every day is an experience, learning experience. I, I don't know, man. I just, I, I guess, I, I don't know. I guess I could play victim right now. I just feel like I just feel like it's just me, and I don't know why I feel like that. I'd be like, damn, it's just me. Don't nobody really fuck with me in real life. That's how I felt. Like I was starting to feel. That's how I was starting to feel. But oh man. I can't feel like that. I can't care about that. <sighs> but I'm good, though. You only feel like that. <laughs> you only feel like that when shit ain't going your way. Well, that's true. When I'm having fun, it don't be like that. You're right. You having fun. Ooh. I don't know. I, uh, and then that's the thing. Even when I'm having fun, it, it still don't be like, you know, revenue. And I don't be tripping about it because I be having fun. You feel me? I guess when I'm like, and I think I've taken out my real life out on this app too. And I think that's why I can apologize that because I am stressed out and I'm going through depression. So, you know, that ain't had nothing to do with this app. So. So listen, if money that important to you, and you need to hit them tears every day and it's mandatory and that's really what you want people to support then 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 quit going to all the meet and greets sit down and save your money then go to them later after this we'll take a break you don't got to make all of them your supporters give you money no that that's the thing you need it. so if you really need that because motherfuckers gonna start saying, motherfuckers gonna start saying all she wants us to do is pay for her to go on vacations but that's the that thing p money. that's Let the thing so I don't money, need the money for trips. When I do trips and I do raffles for the trips, that's that. I only I only do raffles when I go on trips. And I did a raffle last. The last raffle I did was for my daughter's birthday. The trips ain't stopping me from paying my bills. I, I will, You think I would pay for a ticket if my light bill was due? Hell no. That's, I need shit like that. The trips save me from feeling the way I be feeling every day. Those days that I be on trips be the only days I don't feel depression. I'm not depressed because I don't have money. 
that's the thing. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't want nobody to be confused on what I'm saying. I trips is what saves me. A lot of people take medication. All I need is a trip. Like the trip that I'm on. Woo, I feel even with pumpkin. It kind of stressed me out a little bit because it's like you know I was still working. But at the end of the day, it still it was a breath of fresh air because I wasn't at home dealing with my depression. So the depression don't come in for money. I do get irritated when I don't get, you know, support. But that ain't got nothing to do with, oh, I need this money because I am this and that. No, I, I, I definitely, the tears I hit is just enough for me to pay my bills and pay my rent and have a little extra spending money. That's exactly what the tear I hit. So I be trying to hit higher tears so I can have extra money. And that's why I'm like, damn, I cannot go past this tier. So the thing is, what I'm saying is, I'm going to try and do a little business. I'm going to try and stay live more. You know, that's what I'm saying. And, and to be honest, going on trips, I get way more money. You know what I'm saying? Not the raffles, but when I'm live, motherfuckers be sending hell again. So if anything, me not going on the trips, they going to do shit but make my bag stop. Because the extra money I be getting when they see the entertainment that we're doing. Oh, I am. You I'm gonna start. I said that because I'm gonna start my show, and um, when I start my show, I'm gonna start going around the world, going around to some of my supporters because so many of my supporters want to see me. Well, listen, we'll make a lot more. We'll yeah. make a lot more money when you start going on them trips and telling people don't give you shit. I got it. Cause guess what? I be paying for everything y'all think, man. I be making thousands of dollars on them trips. Cause everybody be thinking like, man, if he pay for all that, everybody having fun, I'm going to send this nigga a dollar. Send this nigga five. Y'all got to ask for it. But you, you got to think people, about Support people that support themselves. If they know that you're doing what you're supposed to do, with your bag, they give it to you. And if you motherfuckers got to, the only motherfuckers got a bag is the motherfuckers that get the bag and spend it every single day and always need it. When you're not needy, people reach out to you. When you needy, don't nobody want to give you shit. They feel like this motherfucker date. Yeah, they call they me a bagaboo every day. They call me a bagaboo. If you don't need it, then why we ask? But look, P, you got to look don't at it. You are, it. I'm not you. Just like I'm not corporate. You feel me? The things that happens for you, it, it ain't going to happen for everybody. That's what a lot of people need to realize, too. Just like the stuff that I need to realize, people need to realize, P, you that nigga. No shame. So you don't have to ask for shit. Motherfucker, all you got to do is walk through the motherfucker room. Motherfucker probably throw Exactly. But they don't it, matter. Right? I, no matter what I do, I'm still not going to be past it. No I matter what I do, I'm still not going to be past it. You gonna be Ivy if you stick on what you stand on and stay solid. You have the same support as everybody else. True. Sure. Yeah. I want nobody, I want corporate or none of that. Nobody was comparing themselves to me. You gotta stay down till you come up. I already know that's why I fuck with you, you always, you know, you and a couple more people. Y'all always help help me out, man. Like you know, when when I'm mentally checked out, y'all 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 definitely do. Even when even when we once seeing out of eye, you used to always like do something to like lift me up. And they they I, I and then after you lift me up and give me the laugh, and you start roasting my ass. I, that's why I fuck with you, cause you ain't one of them. You ain't no fake ass nigga. You gonna tell it for what it is, and that's that's what I like. I don't like nobody sugar or going to paint false narratives about me or going to do nothing else. It seems like you understand what I'm going through, but you're basically telling me I'm not doing the right things to make it better. And that's true because I start feeling like that anyway. You know what I mean? And that's where my frustration come in at because it ain't got nothing to do with just Vigo. It's Facebook. If, if you look at my Facebook status, I literally, I, I'm over all of these social medias, to be honest. I'm just ready to get on TV and get the fuck off social media, to be honest. But the whole thing about it is TV ain't going to be no better because you you know what I'm saying? It's going to be the same concept, but it's just, I feel like I will have a bigger, you know, platform to be who I feel like I can be. And I think that I'm frustrated within myself and I'm taking it out on the app because I am not where I need to be at in life. I always been the person to be like, I want to be this when I grow up. I want to be that when I grow up. When I grew up and realized life ain't as easy as the motherfucking teachers and motherfucking uh, mentors try to make a thing, I, I broke down mentally years ago. So it's like, you know, that's why people be, you know what I'm saying, offering themselves, they like, this too much. With me, I don't think like that, but 
Right. I'm just like, damn. Oh, hey. Yeah, so when you sit back and think of where your life at and where it's supposed to be, sometimes you gotta look up and realize yep. that it might not get there. Like, motherfuckers grow up wanting to go to the NFL and the NBA, then one day, you just can't go. And a lot yeah. of them motherfuckers be stuck and don't know what to yeah. do. Because they still chasing the dream. At a certain age, you got to quit chasing. If you get it, cool. TV and I'm finna be on it, that ain't, that's not reality. These shows y'all doing cool. It might get, it might get you exposure. But everybody in the world, it's a million people trying out, auditioning, taking classes, doing casting calls and shit to be on TV. And you doing some behind the scenes street shit and you waiting on your big break. Sometimes you gotta throw them dreams away and just live through your motherfucking And that's exactly and hope that they can yep. do some shit right or they gonna keep seeing you struggling. They gonna be chasing their dream forever and they gonna be fucked up because they watch you chase yours. I wanted to go to the NFL. I couldn't make it. I'm doing everything I can to make my son better than I was. And if he make it cool and if he don't, he learned a lot of shit I forgot. He could yeah. he gotta live through his son now. Yeah. Gotta hope your son make it. You know, sometimes the dreaming gotta stop. Reality gotta kick in. Dreaming is for when you fucking sleep. When you wake up, it's for reality. So you gotta deal with reality. And if the dream come true, then it should be a surprise because it's a fucking dream. But you don't keep chasing no dream. When you get too old, you gotta start doing it. If you can't put the money in place to make your dream come true, you can never depend on nobody else right. to help you get your dream. You gotta right, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Like my if, son. Then you do whatever to make sure your kids yeah, that's my son in boxing classes right now. And my daughter, you know, she's taking up classes. I definitely, definitely have already thought about that. Because I said to myself, I said, look, look, girl, look, I wanted to be a rapper since I was 12 years old. And I said, that shit, you know what I'm saying, it might be over with, but I, I still like doing music. It's a hobby and it's a dream, like you said. So I do it to, you know, kill time and I like it. But I definitely do focus. That's why I barely be on here. I focus on my kids and make sure, you know, I'm not saying that you're not saying that I do, but I'm just saying I focus on them out here. That's why when I'm on here, I get mad when they bug me while I'm on here. I'm like, let me get this little bag real quick. Let me, you know what I'm saying, talk to my supporters and do whatever I'm doing on here. Let me end my life and then we good. I signed my son up for boxing. I signed him up for a lot of shit. Because he, you know, he want to be a YouTuber so bad. Because he see, he watch a lot of YouTubers. So I'm telling him, you know, he, I made him a channel. It's private. But I made him a channel and I, I make him think that his, you know, thing that people viewing it and stuff. Until he get old enough to know what to put on there. But he loves making videos. He loves going boxing. So that, I'm actually enjoying that. But in the process, I still don't want to, like you just said, struggle. I don't want to struggle in the process of trying to make my kids the best that they can be. But sometimes, you know, like you said, you got to throw that talent and do whatever. But, you know, this is my last little go around, you know. It's already started, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do what I got to do. And if I don't get no uh, results out of it, then I already know I got to find another avenue. What's your you be trying to hit every month? What's your goal? Like, well, what's your um, goal every I I to, I can survive off of four hundred k a month. I get three hundred k a month, but I can never reach four hundred k. Um, I'm I'm uh, three hundred k is two thousand and six hundred dollars, I think, and I take off two thousand, keep six hundred on the app. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So six fifty a week. That's what it is. That's what I'm getting. Six fifty a week. Six fifty a week. That's how much money you make on in thirty days. You make it six fifty a week. It ain't a job in the world you can't work to make that same amount of money. And no, nah, I ain't tripping. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if that's extra. like you ain't hearing that part. I I don't getting a job ain't no, ain't the problem. I can work. It's just the fact that I, I don't have a babysitter to watch my son while I work. And it's like the, the job, the class that I was, the job I was going to start was good, good going in with the hours that my kids go to school. So soon as I actually was fit to like get the little schedule and stuff, my car broke down. And, that, and every, you guys, everybody was going to the classes and everything on here. I swear to God, as soon as I got through with the class, so I was driving back and forth. As soon as I got through with everything, I swear to God, I went to public aid because uh, something, I don't know, I, my car broke down right there. My car started smoking, my engine blew out. So, boom, I ain't worried about that. I'm like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to try that. One of my friends told me that if you're trying this and you're trying that and nothing is working out, the universe is trying to tell you something. All right. So she said that one of my friends 
got lost her car, lost her job, turned around and got a record deal, and now she a famous ass rapper in her city, making thousands and thousands of dollars a day. So I was like, wow, that is actually something that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to a point where I don't have to struggle and worry if my car breaks down, I can't make it to work. That that job I was trying to, to go to was in another state, but it was like right on the outskirts of Illinois. But I, I can't get there without a vehicle. So now I'm like, damn, I was going to work there for a couple days, get my little checkup, and I was going to give me a new car. Anyway, I knew that car was shit, but, you know, man, whatever. But I ain't complaining about it. You know, I just let it go, man, and I'm just doing this until I can figure something else out. Because morning job is lit. That's what I'm looking for. Work long jobs, I'm, I signed up for a few of them. Um, shout out to my supporters. You know, they send me a whole bunch of links. So I'm definitely working on that. And, you know, I'm working on it. it ain't like I'm not, but in the process, you know, I'm still, you know, we going. So I'm trying. I ain't just sitting here. I ain't crazy. I got shit going on. That's why I be off this bitch. I am my lab and I go do some other shit. I don't, you know what I'm I don't be stressing. It ain't that deep. I don't know what the fuck my fuck be trying to tell you, but the shit don't be that deep. Can't nobody tell me how to be go, but if it is fucking with motherfuckers and it's messing with their anxiety or whatever, I already gonna switch up my content, but it's just like, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I just know I'm doing that shit. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to figure it out. I was too. I was working for a whole year. I was working for a whole year and be going at the same time, making the same shit. Yeah. Actually, like you said too, huh? That's where it's at. Like you said, well, you said too. That's, uh, that's where it's at. You said uh, working and you'll probably get more money, bro. I, I, I reached uh, damn near. I was damn near a million, and I was working. I was damn near a million, but. You know, that was one of my, like, two or three of my supporters. One, I'm um, not on the app no more. I'm going to be on here no more. So, you know, whatever. But I ain't tripping, though. Like I said, I'm figuring it out. Figuring it out. I didn't say no every job didn't have a morning shift, mamas. I didn't say that. It's like, I don't be understanding that. That's another reason why this app is annoying. Because it's just like, you know, I just said out my mouth, the morning shift is where it's at. Every job have a morning shift, but every job morning shift ain't available. You get what I'm saying? So that's that's what I'm talking about. I done filled out plenty of jobs to ask me how availability I talk in the morning. Could you work nights possibly? No. What was you talking about? I said morning. Huh? Ain't work nights Monday through Friday. My brother don't be here all the time. And that's the only person I got to depend on, really. But he ain't even, he can't even watch his motherfucking self. So me trying to leave my son with him every motherfucking day is not where it's at. That's why I said in the morning my kids go to school. And then I still have to worry about it with school out. I have to figure out something else. Daycares or whatever, but daycares and shit like that, they be like, you know what I'm saying? I have this one damn daycare. The motherfuckers tied my son to a motherfucking, um, a baby, uh, you know them high chairs? I went in, I guess that bitch didn't know I was coming, you know, that early. I went in there, my son was like trying to get out and screaming, screaming. Nobody was in there with him and he was in the lobby. Like they had him like put him in there and scooted his ass out there in the lobby. So when I went out, I was like, what the fuck is my son right here? She was like, oh, because he was screaming, fighting the other kids and kicking and spitting. He done got kicked out of so many day cares. So I was thinking like, man, like maybe when he get older, Hopefully, he'll get a calm down. If not, I'll probably have to force myself to put him on medication. Uh-huh. He ain't gonna take no medication when he's younger. He don't get away he with nothing. Just because y'all see me not doing anything yeah. on this motherfucker. Boy, please. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes? All right. All right. Stop. Stop. No, son. Maybe. I won't say that. You might be right because you was you might have yo the people that raised you might have been very very lenient. So you might think that you kind of mean, but you're not. I'm not talking about your parents because you can raise your kids how you want to. But the stuff your son do, and I got an autistic child. They know better. Right. I promise you, because it's been like that right. from day one. We ain't playing that shit at all. Your son play with you. Like you was friend, get out, get out. I said, get out. I said, oh God, you got me fucked with my autistic child. Get out of my room. He getting out like right now because I ain't never played that shit. You ain't gonna play with me. I said, get the fuck so out. So P, listen to this. You know what I meant? Get out. 
Right, right, you know that? Nigga, come slam the door shit. But look, <clears throat> look at this. When I'm not live, do you know my son don't come in my room? You know why? Because you know if he come in here, when I'm not live, it's going to be one of those. Right. But when I'm live, that's when he la, 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 la. I ask my support, ask my people. I guarantee you I ended my life so many times to deal with that boy. I don't be wanting to do that because it messes up my content. But he does that on purpose. On purpose. Man, I I would. I'd be in that room acting like and I training, just like I train a motherfucking handle. Listen, I'd be in there talking to my phone. And I'd punch you right in the chest. I wouldn't even say get out. Right in your chest. I would. I ain't no knowledge. Hey, come, come in here. Now you ain't going to come in here. No, you going to know. I practice with you. Hell, these could be what boys. I got to do. I don't want to do this. Boy, yeah, you got to be rough with they ass. Yeah. Damn, yeah. I do though. I be I be doing my little one two one two, but all the time it's like you can't do you can't do too much on this app. So that's why a lot of people don't think I be disciplining them. So yeah, I do my shit out here. Yeah, ain't the app in real life. A lot of parents quit being parents because they scared their kids go like turn against them. They ain't go like me. And you got your app. Spencer cords, Spencer cords and bats and all of that. Up. That's why when you said. Oh, shit. shit, I fucking line up. You right. talking about I'll, I'll, they must be. Children's services and all that can pull up. I promise you. My kid do something that demand an ass whooping call whoever you want. I'm standing on, yeah, I whoop their ass. And I'm going to do it again if they do the same shit. I'll be what telling you. What are you talking about? And then they be saying that you wasn't in their life when they doing life in, without parole. Is they, My mom let me yeah. do what I wanted when I was growing up. La, la, la. That's what happened. Now you can't even... See your kid? No, I'm fucking you up. When you back there, you go know you put yourself back. I'm, my job True. is to prevent all that shit. Period. True. Fuck that. Be mad at me. When you get 18, go fuck your life up however you want to. While while you under my umbrella, I failed you. If you don't make it out this motherfucker, when, when graduation or 18, I failed you. You go fail your motherfucking self. And I ain't going to be worried about it. I know I did everything I was supposed to do. And to get you to be a dog, and if you want to fuck it up, then I gotta be cool with you fucking it up. I did my part. Where the grandkids at? I ain't know none of that shit. It's crazy, man. Look, I'm telling you, it's so hard, and I think that's probably another where more of my stress is coming from too, because I feel like. You know, I ain't doing nothing right. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I be beating myself up. And a lot of people be telling me, stop beating yourself up. Your time is coming. Blah, blah, blah. I hear it all the time. And sometimes I pray to God and I ask my like, God, point me in the direction. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. You know, stop making people, that people stop reading me the wrong way. Could things stop happening to the point where I just got fed up when I stop. I don't see no results. I just get fed up and I take it out on the wrong people. That's why I try my best not to give off these you know, vibes, but people know my heart, people know how I am, people don't know, people know I work, people know like I'm a worker, I'm not no lazy bitch, when I'm not on this app, I'm doing other things, you feel me, like, I swear to God, when I broadcast, I can't tell these people my business, because I know how they are, you know what I'm saying, so I literally, I just keep, you know what I'm saying, my own, I be trapped in my own ass, so, I be, that's what, the me the and shit like that help me, because I start seeing other personalities that have Damn, my fucking phone just went high. Look. Yeah. Oh, you had to switch account. You had to switch to your other phone. Bullshit. <laughs> but nah, man. I be trying my best to like be like people. Like, I don't know if I just need to get older. I don't know, but I be feeling like I'm trapped in my own mind. Talk about freezer time. Yeah, so I've been trying, but I, I swear to God, this, this pep talk really did help me a lot. And I do want to apologize to Bigo. I apologize for my behavior. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry for how I feel. But I'm sorry for how I express everything that I've been expressing. I apologize to y'all. I promise to God, right hand up to God, I will not. I will not act like that ever again. I promise. I swear to God, I'm sorry. I know, I know I was doing some shit that I should be doing, but I was, I was fed up. Just like you know, Trina B knew he wasn't supposed to kill no motherfucking dog food at Walmart, but he was broke and he needed some money, so he killed it. You know what I'm saying? But he's there, alright? He's like, so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still confused. I really want to know what the fuck that nigga stole. <laughs> I really want to know what the fuck he stole $10,000 worth of dog food. Hell no. That shit crazy. Right. Ooh, child. And then I'm like, what the fuck you doing with it? Eat it? What the fuck? Cap Am smoking up. Cap Am said. Cap Am said Trina B was snorting powder. They snorted powder together. I knew he did drugs. I knew he did drugs. I know drug addicts. That nigga give off. Uh, recovering. Yeah. And, and, and crack. And, uh, his people, his auntie and somebody say he used to do crack. The hard shit. You know, I know uh, Coke is hard too, but you know, they say he was on the print that. And those drugs, how you not a y'all right man. Say what? Yeah, for real, T. Brownie on phone now. Swear to God. For the dealers. <laughs> for the dealers, people. Oh! Oh, wow! So he stole all that dog food to go get the cocaine. I didn't know what the fuck. I didn't know what people said when he said cocaine. He just said it here. I didn't know that. He was like, oh, okay, I get it. That motherfucker, he said, I ain't gonna never have no money. I can't rob no bank, but bitch, I can rob some dog food. I keep the dog. Hey, Man. Yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, I, I, bro, I was fit to fuck her up. I'm tired of her. Do you know she kissed me on my mouth? Do you know she she humped on me like you know if you land on your back and she hopped on top of me and put like these on my legs. She hopped on top of me. I felt her coochie on my leg and she started humping. So I'm like, oh, I love you, girl. And I'm like, we gotta bring back normality. Yes, it was hot. I felt hot pussy. I should not feel the heat from your pussy on me. Damn. Damn. That's fucking sexual assault. She got a wrinkle out your teeth. Huh? She knocked the wrinkles out. She knocked the I'm wrinkles out of your I ain't need no starch. She put a crease in the motherfuckers. My, I, I tell you, my pants can stand up after that bitch got off me. That. But her, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I was in the clock her ass it's because if anybody want to go on YouTube and look up when me and Punky got into it right before Pina walked through the door, that bitch was yelling at me talking about I ain't do shit in front of my life and said she did everything. And all that bitch did was half sweet. She ain't do shit, but Punky said after that, she washed the dishes after Pina left the shit and she supposed to wash the dishes when I wasn't listening. I don't know. But I, 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 I was, she was the same girl that tried to jump me the last Airbnb. All of her people was there. It was her and her two cousins. What huh? did them girls do? What What was the girls? I uh, one one of them. Uh, the that girl team. right there, the one that was to the clock. She don't do shit. She don't work. She do music. She just you know chasing the dream. She don't work at all. Um, the big thick girl, the jock. She had the jolly red tone. I don't think you seen her, but she was the biggest thick. She had the biggest booty there. She was thick. Uh, she do Instagram yeah. and she do music. The yeah, the one who work. called out work. The one who was to the, the one who was to be punkin' ass. The, the one who was to the throw that thing at punkin' face. The last day was there. She do Instagram and she do music videos. She had hella music videos out. Um, huh? Will that punkin' get one? Who? Don't you go jump in it? Uh, no, I did jump in it. I did. I stayed right. If it wasn't for me, that girl was to the crack punkin' ass. That girl is crazy. She the same girl that told me about the universe. She's a witch. She a witch. She do voodoo. She, she cast spells on her first. But um, she told me, she said she still want to fight Punky. And Punky blocked it because she told Punky she want to bash her face in. So Punky better hope that girl don't put that cast a spell on her. But now, so the other girl, Mama, you all probably know who she is.
she she got fire from a job and somebody stole her car. So she don't do nothing. Um and the other bitch, I don't know what she did. The one that was down there fucking. I don't know if you know who she is. She was the one that looked like the Addis family girl. She 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 was fucking something. I don't know. I don't know. She was fucking fuck. some nigga. Somebody they, they heard him. They heard her fucking down there. The ugly one. She got big ass eyeballs. Her eyeballs big. She uh she got I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, bro. Um oh, who was cute? Was who was cute? cute? Shit, I, which one y'all was said everybody was ugly. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, the ugly one. They was. That's what I'm saying. You said oh. the ugly one. Shit, now. Shit. I That's don't know. Multiple choice well, the, uh, uh, she she was the prettiest one out of. Well, my friend, the thick one, she was the prettiest one to me, and she was like next to the prettiest one. Then my my, then uh, then uh, then the one I was about to fly. They they go in order like this. But I think it was more girls that in there. Oh yeah, and that uh the other one. The other one, she, I don't know where she is. She's like in the middle. She like number three. But yeah, I don't know. Those girls fuck the chose. They said fucking was gonna choose my pretty girls anyway. But she wanna be the prettiest one ever. So. But she oh. definitely did her big one. Period. If it wasn't for me being there, it'd be all as a bitch. <laughs> I knew that's why you left. Like, I ain't finna get no ass. Let me go. <laughs> no, I was just playing. I was just playing. I already knew that. I swear to God, I know, I know that was a genuine, like, Link up, bro. That shit was lit as fuck. Y'all saw every bitch there before y'all came. Y'all knew how they looked, so y'all knew what it was. Shit. Yeah. Hey, we went tripping. But after y'all was on all that bullshit, that fight you shit, I got up out of there. Nah, that was the film. Like, once we got through filming, it was gonna be over with. You know, motherfuckers. Huh? Y'all finna fight the whole bunch. After I left, shit, you yeah, yeah. got to it again. I went to sleep. After the, after we got through filming, after you left, KLB left up, um, after the filming was over, um, you know, we sat down, we chilled for a little bit more, like an hour late, an hour more, and KLB and Tommy Kane them left, baby, I went to sleep. I didn't know Cammy was still there, I thought Cammy left too. But KLB and uh, Tommy Kane and uh, Carrie left, baby, I went to the sleep, because I, I, and you know, I ain't about that trouble. I don't like it, but I'm, I'm not about no disrespect either. So... What happens was, every time that camera come on, as soon as they say action, motherfuckers want to try and confront me. And that's why I felt like motherfuckers had a, a motor. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, do you know I will fuck you up in real life? Right. I don't talk. So. But anyway, so outside of that, when we was filming for a couple days, that's why they was like, you always on live, you always in your room. And I'm like, uh, yeah. What am I out here for? All you bitches want to do is argue. I swear to God, I want to win. I want for that. And I told Bucky, I said I, I want to broadcast my, I want to broadcast my talent, like we said. Um, I want to broadcast that Chicago is not only about drama. That's what I told her. That's what I thought we were going with. But this Bucky show, cause she did that. That's why I said I'm doing my own show, and um, it's not gonna be about drama. It's gonna be big shit, just straight big shit. That's why I said for the meet and greet, I ain't know if y'all wanted to, I got a light and I got a camera. Shout out to Journey. I wanted to record some event. When, when we edit it, it's gonna look just like that party we went to in China. When they edit it, it makes it look dope as fuck. I, I want to put some of that in my show. I want to put my to go somewhere else. I want to put that in my show. I just want to put a lot of shit in my show just to show the life of Queen Ice. You got a Yanni Pearl? Go get you a real Yanni. Y'all go to realyanniperl.com. Get you a put Vic in that motherfucking comments. Get you a little, get you a little discount if you put Vic in there for Victor Newman. Put the Vic in the comments. Get you some shit for free. <laughs> Wait a minute, where did that come from? I'm 
just saying. RealYanniPearls.com. Real Yanni Pearls, don't get y'all no use affection. Let me show y'all some Yanni. Let me show y'all. Girl, please. Girl, please. Girl, please. Girl, hold up. Let me show y'all something. Hold up. What the fuck is my shit at? Oh, yeah, girl. This right here, y'all. This is Yanni oil. This is Yanni oil, y'all. And it smells so good. You got to take it and drip a little bit over your coochie and rub it like, you know, how you be playing with it. And I swear to God, it works, it works, it works. It works. It works, don't you? Where it smells good. Works, it where? is eatable. Yeah. That's I ain't used no Yanni. I ain't used this. I left, I left this at home. No, it was normal. That was normal coochie. That was just a regular? Yeah, that was regular coochie. I, regular, regular. I used this like... And he loved this shit, so. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all all my business. <laughs> but I ain't, look, when I was going to the meet and greet, I, like that edible shit, I wasn't planning on fucking. No so that's why I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I like to have fun when I fuck. So I didn't bring this, because all my roles. Right, I, I like right. the, the vibes. I, I wasn't trying to fuck, but I got a little drunk and he, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was like, fuck right. it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I don't never get no dick on no meet and greet. So I'm like, shit, right, 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 let's right. do it. <laughs> but I got kind of scared afterwards, so. <laughs> Fuck it. He did yeah, not he nut in me. That nigga got four or five punks. He got four or five punks. He that said he didn't come. I didn't know either. So it was not accomplished. He did not accomplish no goal. I told you before he got with Bella. Before he got with yeah, Bella. That's why I don't fucking smash him at your party. But he, uh, he came with a different bitch. Then yeah, he left and drove with Bella. So I was like, fuck it. Well, we'll never finish that. That'll be unfinished then. Moving on. Moving on. Yep. Right. And he ain't one of them type of niggas. Like, he did not put me on glass or nothing. That's, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if we got into it, like, we got into it before. And I hung up on him and everything. And he did not go live or nothing. So I was like, damn, I can get him some more pussy and I don't have to worry about nothing. But, unfortunately, I have to respect his relationship and I don't right. want him. So don't be lying, y'all. I do not want y'all. I respect his relationship. Unfortunately. You say it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. If he want to sneak and give you some dick, that's different. But as far as you like, <laughs> it's not She said in front of a fan, you talking about this? It's better now. It's back on. I don't know why I got hot. My phone's never on beat. Period. I got your back. We both got to protect ourselves. No sex. All right, period. No sex at the party. Ooh, what if it's what if it's not at the party? Damn, son. No sex in Atlanta. Is that including Kendra G niggas too? You can do what you want. I ain't. <laughs> I got a room, but I'm sleeping on the couch. I want everybody to see. No matter who live, you want. <laughs> All right. Me. You said you tired of being a barrel of bad news. I swear to God. That's some bullshit. You can't even enjoy yourself without the haters hating, bro. That's weird. I swear to God. Motherfuckers mad at your success, and that's fucked up. That's why I got your back, bro. I wish a bitch would. And the thing is, you don't never try and bash me. I'm tired of being bashed by people, bro. I swear to God, and I don't do nigga no harm. That's why I was going on a rant. I was like, fuck it, fuck it. I was mad. And that's why I ended my life, and I don't know how people taking me the wrong way. But I should have just left without all of that. I guess I should have just left. Right. No shame. Because I was irritated and I didn't want to take my hand out of nobody. I should have just given it. Yeah, that's so good. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um. That's right, bro. I forgot about the crab and Jason. Um, there was some chicken across the Ooh, street. Oh, chicken, chicken, chicken. What y'all mean, Taco Bell? I ain't sleeping. Sleep. Yeah, that's you on my 
my side. I gotta get rid of my half man. You on my side doing that. They gonna be mad as fuck when I get rid of <laughs> my ass. Swear to God. Well, he, I think they, they yeah. You sound like a tape recorder. Nah, motherfuckers ain't uh-uh, because I'm about to say that ain't over here. Made the comment through. Yeah, I'm telling you, Vigo, he's gonna be letting anything come through. This why I don't have admins. I don't mind them talking. Yeah, he kept on saying the same shit. I just looked down and I'm trying to scroll up to see if I missed anything. And he, I was like, what the fuck? What did you study for being that? Then stop doing what you do on live. Simple. I do what I want to do on live now. I'm just letting you know that. Remember that. Just like y'all do what y'all want to do. Y'all can gift or not. I can do what I want to do. And if y'all don't like the content, y'all know what to do. But I did say I'm going to clean it up. Like, I, I probably was doing a little bit too much. I cleaned it up. But you can't tell me what's going on. That's back. These don't can tell me what they in my shit. And, and, and bam, I ass to here. But you can't. No, I said, I, I am complaining about people bashing me, but the things that they are bashing me about are not true things. That's the difference. Bash me with the truth, I can't get mad, honey. Do you get it? Are y'all weird as fuck, man? Is everybody in weird? Damn. How about they the same ones that support Detroit thought? Ha <laughs> ha. Hell no. Nah. But anyways, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Motherfuckers know what they know. Right. Okay, well, what the fuck you keep talking to me for? Like, girl, you one of the people. Like, if you don't like me, don't talk to me. Don't let me in. Don't talk to me. Bitch, go ahead and free yourself. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, let up on sus a little, y'all. That pressure. Yeah, it is, Lexi. That's why I be, I, you know, with, with pressure, you see me? I really felt sorry for pressure, to be honest. That's why I ain't had nothing bad to say. Pressure lasted a little bit longer. You feel me? Anybody up under Key's agencies will break. I did not break until a little bit ago, but I was on the verge of fucking breaking when I was at Keys. Everything I, 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 I uh, everything that I uh, approached or anything, he turned it into a fucking storyline. Had motherfuckers come up and troll me. Even when my son got through off that fucking balcony, Ashley told me and Punkin told me that he texted them, told them to do all of that to me, and they have text to prove it. And then when I left the panel, because I was tired of being bashed and went live, guess what this creep ass weird nigga did? Came in my room, jumped in my box like, oh, that's crazy. I hope you okay. Narratives, sure. narratives. Why he painting, texting the motherfucker, telling them to say, oh, Ivy did that to her own son. Ivy tried to kill her son. You know what that shit did to me? Bitch ass nigga. That shit fucked up. Right. He be trying that to break fucked it. fucked up, bro. And I, I, I swear to God, I about passed all that shit. I try to ignore all that bitch. shit. Nah. But it's like when, when, when push comes to shove, you go to school, get bullied. You get your ass beat at home. You get bullied on high school. You get bullied on motherfucking uh, Facebook. You get bullied on Bego. You get bullied on Instagram. Everywhere you go. And it's then, fuck the bullying, because I don't give a fuck. I beat a bully up. So fuck that. It's just the fact that why the fuck are the bullies winning? Why the fuck am I just sitting here still like trying to prove myself? To show y'all that the bullies, but I learned from you and a lot of other right. people trying to follow up on a lot of other people. They, they journey, all y'all, a lot of people that fuck with me in real life. I swear to God, I learned how to try and like balance it out. Sometimes I, I just still snap, but sometimes I try to balance it out, you know. But it's cool, you feel me? Like everybody ain't meant to for everybody, like everybody ain't meant to like motherfuckers, everybody ain't supposed to like you, so I don't get no fuck. I learned a lot being around y'all. Y'all y'all taught me a lot. Yeah, motherfucker. Go look in the window. Go look in what window? Who window y'all want me to go in? I got it. Double B go nobody. Who child. I learned a lot from being around y'all, and that's why I respect y'all to the fullest. Um, I ain't never going to be fake with y'all. Y'all ain't never got to worry about shit when it comes to me. Leah drawing you. <gasps> Leah live. I mean, me. Leah. Uh, y'all talk about going to Leah live. 
Right, she draw everybody. I just told her uh, don't draw me. That's cool. That board ain't big enough to put my dick on it. Stupid. <laughs> I gotta be fully dressed. <laughs> so who is this Man, one then? Oh, uh, that yellow? Damn, like she tried to put the goals in there. Yeah, that's you. She tried to put the goals. That's me. You see the necklace? <laughs> 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 that bitch got a sense of humor. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna screenshot it and make it. She said she wanted if she should make the hookah. All that talent and she Hell was going no. around fucking everybody. She irritated. What those screens? No, don't, don't, don't zoom don't in. Do that, <laughs> oh, okay. Don't narrate it. Was funny all day. That's what's funny. Kick out your mind. <laughs> Where my waves at? Wait, hold on. It looked like she gave you some waves. Yeah, she did. She gave you a couple waves. <laughs> no, I bet. <laughs> that bitch crazy. Eyebrows, oh, she tried. She tried, though. She that tried because you got that arch. Fuck. You got that arch. You definitely. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I just Damn, noticed that. Yellow, yellow eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I, bro, that's why I told her. I told her, I said, bitch, you better not drop Hell me. No, I said, bitch, crazy. you better not drop me. She said, I went in there and they said, Leah, draw you. I said, I said, bitch, I had to come over here because they said she draw me. She said, no, nah, you told me not to draw you. I ain't, no, nah, I ain't gonna draw you. I fuck with you. I, you told me not to draw you. I ain't gonna draw you. I said, good. <laughs> ain't no telling what that bitch gonna do. <laughs> ain't no telling. She probably gonna try to draw me from the side, yeah. Pete. She gonna try to draw me from the side right, yeah, so she can show how flat my ass is. I'm cool. I'm gonna get on my artist. I'm gonna bring out <laughs> my motherfucking art book. Dude. Hell no. And guess what? Punk and ass Abby did. I guess Punk and enjoy herself with y'all there. I don't know what y'all did to her, but she was on live earlier, lined up with Leah in front of 2,000 people saying, oh, you know what? After I um, get this show up and running on the uh, network, um, you know what I should do? I should uh, rent a big old Beagle house and just invite Ivy, K.O.B., Pastor, you, Leah, this person. <laughs> So as she said, Leah, I'm like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I was like, bitch, a pastor probably ain't gonna come if, if Leah coming. But Leah said she was down. She said she'll come. She said, I uh, she said, I ain't scared of nobody, I come. And then that's when they said, What if Ari comes? She said, Well, you know what? <laughs> she said, if Ari comes, you know what? I just I don't think I should go if Ari comes because you know she what if she get mad and try to help the whole house? <laughs> Boy, that took me the fuck out. She was like, I'm right. going. I ain't got nobody. They was like, well, what if Ari come? She was like, uh. <laughs> she was like, fuck that shit. She said, no, because Ari's crazy. I I I'm not going because Ari's crazy. Uh-uh. <laughs> she needs to drop the baby so it can be more interesting. Drop the baby? What's... What you talking about? Hey. You need to not be pregnant. Um, she need to have her motherfucking baby. I'm calling Ari on her. You stupid. Yeah, she said, hell no. Nah. Ari, the only motherfucker that'll stop her from doing anything, boy. Won't be far when the yeah. rabbit get the gun. Whew. Won't be fun. <laughs> They said pass to get you a whiteboard. Can't steal that, I don't know. I don't think, to be honest, I don't think pass to draw in real life. Mm -mm. You know, everything ain't for everybody. She said. I can draw a <laughs> they good said, as She Leah. said she um, doesn't hold a grudge against sure. Ari. Oh, uh, I ain't hear her say that. But that's fine. Hell no, she mm -hmm. don't. You know, I think Leah just crazy like she that, don't though. Smoke. Leah, she don't. I... No, nah, she don't hold no grudge with you. I, I think in real window. life, I think Leah want to be back cool with you, but I think that she thinks that you. Yeah. She knows yeah. she can't. Mm -hmm. She knows she can't. She, she even she said it, Pete. She said it in the beginning she when y'all fell out. In the beginning, she said that you shouldn't have told her she can't get the dick no more. She said that she clear as day in front of a thousand people. I swear to God. That's crazy. She not getting gifts for them drawings. No, she, she on five stars, though. She, she, she doing this. Yeah, I know. I mean. 
I'm so happy. Like all the dicks she got. Apparently. Apparently, because she ain't do none of this shit when uh, her baby daddy put a restraining order on her. She ain't do none of this shit. Oh, God. She left that nigga alone. Damn. I don't think, you think she fucked Polly God? only fuck with me. But you gotta, you know, you know, you gotta, you gotta think about it. Like you the only nigga that, yeah. that like, like that's that nigga. Like you the only nigga that you know got it. Fuck you talking about. Rest of them niggas is nobodies. Like so, of course, ain't nobody gonna focus on the nobody. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Oh about yeah, sauce poppy. Pop she did it. that too. Then she said she was trying to fuck. I think she no, said she saw, uh, get her. Wait, I think what? That was her. No, I ain't heard it. I don't know. If it was oh, her. she did say that, y'all. She did say something about Sean Cash. She Who was did. that? She said, to be honest, I really think he's gay because his dick can get hard. I remember her saying that. Somebody. Oh, no. Queen, oh, I that said was that. Queen, huh? No, Leah did say, she said something about, if it wasn't about Sean, she said that about somebody. She said it about somebody. She said, motherfucker, dick, Ferragamo. Man. That bitch done had her pussy been everywhere. Look at the chain. It's on point. Oh, let me look at the chain. They they tell her that, that she just do. They say that this bitch look more like uh, Dale than Pastor. Don't come in here. She said, "Yeah, I know." She should have that, that, that beard. Now, wait well, on. Um, Ugh, he wanted to have to pick them up. Me, that nigga. Ugh, he is disgusting. He got 12 different hoes. He be fucking wrong. She said, no, he wanted Queen Op. He said, um, she had, she had mature boy. Um, it said she was getting split by all the bananas. You stupid. You stupid. So she had a banana split. Or maybe he wasn't turned on by her. That's what I'm saying. That's the only way I think. If I have sex with a guy and he don't come or his dick gets soft in the middle or can't get up to us to fuck, period, I would be so insecure about myself. I swear to God I would. Because I'd be like, damn, what did I do? What, what, what did I do? Greedy spilled a lot of her tea, too. Oh, wow. I ain't follow Greedy at first. I started following him after he, you know, it was some shit went down with him. She said he stank for real. Who stank? Nature Boy? I don't believe Nature Boy stank. He don't shower. They don't believe in deodorant. Nature Boy took that bitch shopping. You know how dirty you got to be for Nature Boy to say you got to change clothes? Yeah, he said she basic. That's what he was saying. He said yeah, she that bitch basic. was looking dirty. Mm -mm. I wonder. Nah. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> uh, he said. Nature Boy took her shopping and then take his wives nowhere and they can't dress worth shit. They mm -hmm. wear the same goddamn fitted. Fitted she did they wrapped up. That shit crazy. He did. He wrote her ass to death though. He wrote her to filth when they got into it. I don't know what the fuck was going on. He dressed them too. Nature boy said she stank and look at me. Well, I thought she stank coming. They said she look at me. Um, fitted. And he went and got her a bullshit ass outfit to wear. That was crazy. And yeah, them bitches was looking like queen size mattresses with them motherfucking sheets on. <laughs> Queen size sheet, fitted sheet, motherfucker. Who out the band? But that's how he want his bitches to look. He want them to look right. Posture, repeating, dressing ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> bitch looks like a whole water bed. Went straight to Forever 21. They went to Forever 21? That's what it was at? I mean, I, I ain't complaining. Like, I y'all know me. I ain't fashion either, so. I don't be getting a fuck. I never shot to the Forever 21, so I don't know what was the problem with that. But I think I need to go to Five and Below, and I need to go to Sheen, because I heard that they got the motherfucking things for a little bit of motherfucking little bit of beans. Go get you some nair and do them armpits. Uh, I, I do need the nair, but I'm depressed. I told you shave already, P, if I ain't getting no dick, I ain't shaving, because shaving ain't natural anyway. Bro, you better shave them armpits. <laughs> you don't I shave do your shave. pussy about some dick. Them armpits get touched. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, you know what really stopped me from shaving under my arms, Pete? I, I swear to God, every time I shave, 
But I did learn that I was doing it the wrong way. Every time I shave, I probably got I got to go against the grain or something. And then also, mm -hmm. when I, I shave before I wash up. So once I shave, I wash up. So I'm opening up them pores. And then I put on my deodorant. So doing that, it creates like little hair bumps or whatever under my arms. So I heard that deodorant causes cancer. So I heard that once you shave, and have open wounds, you know, because you got the pores open after you wash up. And you put the deodorant. I, I, I used to get scared. So what I did was I stopped shaving for a long time because I wasn't going to stop wearing deodorant. You got me fucked up. So I stopped shaving. And I, when I had a little hair, that's when I put a little, you know what I'm saying, deodorant when the, the hair grew. I literally had to shower five times a day just so I wouldn't get mussed because I was scared. I, I'm telling you, I used to go through a lot of shit. Try, Cause I ain't had no, you know, big sister. I ain't had my mama wasn't there. She always was at work. She was always the best mom, but she worked a lot. We all watched ourselves. I did not go outside. I ain't had no real friends. Couldn't be around family. My sister wasn't on shit. She was too busy chasing boys, running, you know, sneaking outside when mama was at work, telling me to tell mama she sleep. So when I grew up, I had to learn everything on my own. You know what I'm saying? Get bullied along the way. Ain't get no fuck. So that's the reason why I'm in the way I'm in. But I try to change throughout the, the friends that I have now. You know, I'm still learning. And that shaving shit, that shit scared the fuck out of me. Because I didn't, nobody told me that before. So, somebody said, let me up. Uh, uh, I don't know. Who the fuck? Oh, they said lame. What the fuck? I, I'm blind as shit. Anyway. See, this the Ivy I like. That's it, Lexi. See, I just need to surround myself around people that ain't fucking trying to tarnish my character and shit, man. I don't like that shit. Don't be my friend one minute and then say I'm an evil ass bitch or doing some evil ways. I don't like that. That shit be pissing me off. But I am. This is what y'all gonna get every day, y'all. I I told y'all I put a promise to oh, I did. I did the same thing <laughs> that they said Pastor did. <laughs> they said Pastor, I ain't saying the shit. I put an oath. I swear to God. <laughs> That shit took me out. Oh my God. Fat Wig said that shit in front of I'm talking about, bitch. It was so many people that when I say every single last person, we knew it wasn't no robots. Every single last person died in there. They say they ain't sad as shit. I swear, I swear to God, I put, I swore my <laughs> what they say. They say you promise to tell the truth, nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. <laughs> They had me dying because I ain't see that. I ain't see that. So if it happened, it happened, but I ain't see that. Why am I still watching this? Why am I still watching this? Who shall she? That shit was so fucking funny. But, anyways, why she don't draw a ninja that's gonna take care of baby? Y'all ain't motherfucking shit. <laughs> well, who made y'all? Who made y'all for real? Y'all is crazy. But I do out of all of the nagging. Thank you. Period. Thank you so much. Um, out of all I did do, I definitely could tell y'all this. I am proud of the tier that I'm at. I am proud of where we're going. I do want to apologize. I do want to apologize. I do want to apologize for my behavior. But it's not just y'all. I swear to God, I do want to tell y'all that I am excited. The fact that, you know, a lot of the things, how y'all feel about me has came out. And I do want to apologize to my supporters as well, because even though I don't ever like talk about my supporters or to my supporters the way I don't want them to think that anything that I be saying has anything to do with them, it still will probably make them feel some type of way. Because if I say Oh, if y'all ain't gifted, I'm getting off here and then I end my life. It'll make them like, no, I be come back and I be feeling bad. But, you know, I got to stop taking everything out on on y'all. You know, y'all ain't did shit to me. Uh, some of the trolls have, but the people that fuck with me, y'all ain't did shit to me, man. Um, I do want better for myself. Everybody around me want better for me. And I want, you know what I'm saying, I want to start exceeding on doing everything that it is the best to be, to help me be the best that I could be. But the thing is, the reason why I'm frustrated, because I feel like don't nothing ever work out for me, y'all. I swear to God. And this ain't no pity party. That's the reason why I've been upset. I've been feeling like ain't nothing, nothing, nothing I do. Nothing I do is good or great enough. So that's the only reason. But anyway, y'all, let me call this nigga. This nigga didn't even answer the phone for me before. Let me call him. I think you got somebody. So, this is going to show me right here. Mm -hmm. 
He why he checked my message and everything. I bet you he don't answer. Watch. Did he just for me? What the fuck? Like, unless I press the button and they hung it up. I haven't talked to him all day, G. It's 8 p.m. I haven't talked to him all day. Shit, wow. <sighs> oh, well. But it's like, that's all I be saying. Like, it's just proof that niggas ain't shit because he used to always tell me, oh, you trying, what's up, Journey? He used to always say, oh, you trying to, um, you trying to, um, you know, find something bad and everything. Hey, Ivy, do you feel better now? I feel a lot better, Journey. Um, like, that's why sometimes I be texting y'all, like, asking y'all, can I talk, you know what I'm saying? And I be needing somebody to talk to sometimes. I don't have no friends. I don't fuck with people out here. So my social media people, y'all are the only people, you know? That I fuck with you. I know I don't, I don't be wanting to make y'all feel no type of way. I don't be wanting to rub nobody no type of way. You know, and I hate that. It be, it be like that. I hate that it seems like, you know, the way I be responding to certain situations that, you know, it comes off the way it do. But it's not that. And I feel bad. Like, y'all know I like to have fun. Y'all know I like to try and get y'all content. I try to do everything. You know, I know some people like to chill and talk, so I do story time with y'all. You know, I know a lot of people want to know more about me, so I'm giving y'all my life through Ivy Diaries. I haven't did it in a couple of days because y'all know I was doing that film and shit, so we back at it. But you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I really want to grow with y'all. You know, I want y'all to see better of me. I don't want to... I don't want to, you know, I don't want to come off the way I've been coming, y'all, and I apologize. I just hate when people think a certain way about me and then try and exploit it out here and you supposed to be my real motherfucking friend and you up here painting pictures of me and it's not the way it is. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot more to me than just asking for beans and asking for cash apps. It's a lot more for me than that. But that's the thing, like, you know, like P said, he just say what he say in the beginning. He don't ask no more. And then when he check at the end, he'll check and he'll just get the fuck on. Period. And he ain't saying it like he just getting on here, you know what I'm saying, for the bands because he get on here to talk to his people. I got people. You know what I'm saying? So he get on here to chop it up. And if they ain't got it, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got it. Like, and if they do, they do. And you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. So I just, you know, I just got to talk to people that's, <clears throat> you know, on the same level and well, level I'm trying to get to. Those are the people I want to talk to. People that's on the same level as me or people that's on the level I'm trying to get to. That's it. <sighs> Real friend will tell you the truth when you don't realize it. That's the truth. <clears throat> and they'll tell you behind the scenes too. No social media bullshit. Y'all got to stop being adults. Calling people y'all friends. We did that in school. Bitch, friends, work, the word friend ain't got no age limit, all right? So you, you, you gotta know what you talk about before you come into a real ass bitch. Ivy, you're such a free spirit. Thank you. You gotta relax sometimes. It's okay to just hear people out. I don't, I don't, what, what, what makes you think I don't hear people out? And then, <clears throat> if you think about it, you can ask Journey. It'll be times when we had had conversations where we could just talk. And it'll be times where we couldn't. You get what I'm saying? So, it's just like this. It's like, when I feel like overwhelmed and I feel like um, uh, the, the narrative that is being painted, even if it's not on purpose, the narrative that's being painted is not a valid. All right? Hold on, let me text this nigga. I'm going to be like... Like, just let me know if you want me to stop calling. Okay. I don't do that. Because it's, it's like you're checking my message. What should I say? What 
shouldn't say nothing. Why the fuck my shit froze? My back, y'all. Put it in a liver. Oh, she thinks she needs some. Damn, cosplay something else. What's that? But yeah, y'all think I have reached my limit of be going today. Oh, What's up? What's up, Miss Scorpio? So no Ivy Diaries. Oh yeah, tomorrow. I don't even know why I left off at Tiff Tiff. Come up here. You know why I left off at? She ain't even been in my life the last time I did Ivy Diaries. She wasn't in my life. I don't think. I did Ivy's Diaries last time, two days ago. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Panderosa. <laughs> Hello? Did she mean to come up? I need to see how much body I really. I knew it was too good to be true. Why the fuck do my sh shit rising, man? I'm not finna. He, how I'm gonna let a how a busy man gonna chase me? How a busy man gonna chase me? But I, I, I think I'm finna get off here, y'all. Um, I'll come back and do Ivy's Diaries, okay? I'll come back and do it, y'all. I just need to, you know, relax. Probably give me a little drink or something and relax. Can y'all see me? Nah, it's my life. It's my life. I had brought you up and you left. It's my life, y'all. Um, just tweaking. I love y'all. I'll come back, y'all. I promise. I love y'all so much. I'll come back at probably like 10 o'clock and do Ivy's Diaries, okay? I bet y'all. Thank y'all so much for the gift. And thank y'all for the people that know that I was just probably venting and I was taking it out. I actually don't think I disrespected nobody when I was like, get the fuck out. Because at the end of the day, nobody that fucks with me knows. I, everybody that fucks with me knows I want to talk to them. That's why y'all fuck with me. Some girl said she had to follow me. I bet you that bitch probably ain't sent me a bean a day in her life, which I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I just told her to inbox me so I could block her because I don't, I don't want you to just unfollow me and follow me when you feel like it. Just if you ain't gonna fuck with me, don't fuck with me at all. You know what I mean? What's up, Drip Love? That's the only thing I said. I just feel like if you ain't gonna fuck with me, G, guess what? Bye. It's see, like everything that started being good, going good, then it's like a lot. It's just come down like a ton of bricks. And I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. It, it happens to me a lot. Period. That's what I'm saying, edibles. Hey, what's up, drip girl? How you feeling, beautiful? I can't wait till all our other family members put out images by their name because we got a bunch of, um, we got a bunch of, um, 
su uh, supporters that come in here and I don't even know that they are part of our family because I be I, I look at they live and I look at if they you know say support me before I add them because I don't want no ops in the family I had to I had to take a couple people out of the family because uh, I found out that Brandon was in my family he told me like last year that he he uh, sent me a badge so everybody that wasn't participating stuff I dropped a lot of badges that's why our family was going up and down with the uh, amount so now i think we solid with the people we got the 61 people and um <clears throat> half of them are not hosts i mean mo none of them are hosts to be honest a lot of them just support me and they you know do, do their big one or whatever like that so um the new people that come in um are they, if they are hosts tonight we're gonna try to get established to where we can get this family on go um my um <clears throat> goal i'm um, actually eight dragons short i have six seven days so i believe i'll be good i believe i'll be good i believe i'll make the eight dragons i just been um kind of you know going through a rough patch you know i really fuck with y'all and um the people that i fuck with i just don't want y'all to look at me a certain way because i really don't be mean and i know it i don't be mean and i act a certain way i just i just sometimes i need to take my medication i just now i spaz out and i don't even know i need the help until i received help and sometimes I don't like taking my medicine. I don't like nothing forcing me to act a certain way, you know? So, that being said, you guys, I love you all. Bye.